All right, hello. Uh, my name's Amoeba. I'm joined on commentary for this moon run by Ekman Larson. How are you doing, mate? Hello, hello. I'm doing fine. Yeah. And yeah, this is going to be uh, moon any percent on new 3DS. And the reason why we stipulate new 3DS is because it's just way faster than old 3DS. Yeah. 12 minutes, 13, yeah. something like that. Awesome. <laughs> Saving you guys time. Okay, so time actually starts. We were allowed to start from a save here, just after the bed, to skip five minutes of the initial cutscenes, because they're not really execution-based, you're just watching the cutscene. Uh, so time will start on my first input. So, three, two, one, go. The first thing we do is go into the options, set fast speed, no switching, and what's the other thing? No animations, yeah. Uh, some runners do like to have L equals A on, and that I is, do, yeah. yeah, it's a, I think it's a comfort thing basically for good mashing. Um, exactly. Mashing in this game is, like mashing through text is a bit of a weird one. Um, you want to be holding a button at all times, so you've got three, you've effectively, you want to be holding one of them so that the text moves faster in the first place and then mashing with the other two ideally. Um, so I think a lot of people like to hold L and then mash with like E and A, I think. Nope, that doesn't work. You can't, no? L, L, you can't uh, if you press L, you can't press A. It's like, it's the same ah, button, basically. Okay. It's not like in Gen 3, where you can press both. So yeah, I, I do it, I hold L and then mash B and the, cut, uh, the touch screen. No. Like, uh, I prefer to hold B and I mash I hold my 3DS at a 45 degree angle and I hold B with my left thumb and mash the touch screen with my left index finger and then I mash A with my right thumb. Uh, Interesting. It's just personal preference. There is actually, it's technically optimally faster to not do L equals A for a bit more. Well, it's like a five second time save about half an hour into the run. Is it really uh, that much? I thought it was less. Yeah, yeah. You have to wait for Rotom decks to show up. Yeah, like, I know. To be fair, it might be like three or four. But yeah. I thought it was like three seconds, yeah. It's yeah. It's, it's nothing. More. If, you, if you're going to get better mashing with L equals A, it's definitely worth it to have that. Right. Yeah, it's anyway. just for comfort as well, like as well, menuing. I am just so used to pressing L there instead of A. It's just not worth it for me to yeah. get used to everything else. Just the same as X or uh, Gen 6, basically. For sure. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, so yeah, this run doesn't involve any kind of nips whatsoever, which means we need to get uh, good stats on our popular. Uh, I do have a backup save, so I'm not going to be sat here resetting over stats, because it's about... Well, I mean, you can run up to about 50% of popular, so it's not bad odds at all. I prefer to be a little bit stingier, and so my like runnable rate is about 40%. Um, but yeah, we're not going to sit here and reset over stats because it takes like 10 minutes. So if I don't hit a runnable one first try, we'll just load a, a backup save and use that. Um, the only actual... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, the only real uh, requirements we have for stats are 12 special attack and 9 speed. Um, you get 9 speed if you don't have a minus nature, basically. <laughs> and 12 special attack is just not bad um no minus natures and no low ivs uh, and minimum defense can also be scary if you have like yes absolutely zero well to make things really interesting my backup um popular that i have in a save is really good on the special attack and the speed but it is neutral zero defense <laughs> so that could be a little bit interesting but at least it's neutral nature, so it's not that yeah. bad. No, it's not. But it does make some things a bit scary. Yeah. The defense thing is the, the biggest issue is the Harla fight about an hour in. If you go in with a terrible defense and HP combo, you can just be guaranteed dead or as close to guaranteed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we have... Uh, this is a bit of a comfy speedrun. I love this speedrun. Um, but it's also a bit of a weird one in that I can never recommend it to anybody because it is five hours long and a good two hours of it is mashing through text and cutscenes. Yeah. 
but uh, it's a nice little comfy one to sit down and chill out with because the OST is good and it's a pretty game. Um, but I can't wholeheartedly recommend it as a speedrun to anybody unless you really like the movement and the uh, the fights. But I, I find it really interesting. Yes, all the strats are really cool. Like it, it yeah. does, and like despite popular belief that the games are super easy, the there are no. a lot of really hard fights in this game. It's like there's, there's definitely a point in this run where like if you get past the ghost trial, it's like you'd struggle to die. Um, but the the first hour of this run is really punishing. It's really yeah. difficult to get a decent time past in the initial section of this run. Yeah. We actually really struggle with being uh, under-leveled in the mid-game as well, like around the, the grass trial. We have to like, start dumping candies into Poplia to get it caught up, because it's probably an easy game if you go around and fight everything, but you can avoid like nearly every fight, apart from main story-based fights. There's very few like just random trainers sat around yeah. that we actually have to fight. So the actual amount of experience you get is not very much. helps a little bit I think I haven't really looked at it but if your Pokemon is lower level than what you KO you get more XP basically and if you're over level you get less XP so yeah. that's also quite a big part of routing and when you candy and everything so that you reach certain levels at like mm -hmm. certain times because you get varying amounts of XP we're also going to be petting and feeding Poplia yes. as a a two-part advantage. One, because we get a higher boosted experience, which is super ne necessary. But also feeding it five beans will get us a candy later on as well. Yep. There are a lot of candies in this game. And we use nearly every one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how many do we, we use? There's like four to get us up to Lorantis. There's two before Moilane. There's two after Guzma. <laughs> yeah, we use like eight at least. And then one yeah. on Lunala as well. Exactly. But yeah, another reason why backup save is pretty much needed is because the last point where you can save before getting a starter is like right here after you done talking to Lily and then there's like a four to five minute cutscene until you can actually look at your stats <laughs> so yeah it's just it takes way too long a typical strat for doing like high level run attempts is to check your stats as you level up to level six after how I'm actually going to check my stats as soon as we've got Poplio here just so that I don't want to go through all of the the petting and the beans and stuff to find out that it was already bad stats but there is the one issue with that potentially is that I could see something like 12 special attack, 9 speed, and be like, oh, maybe. And then if it goes to 13, 9, I'm going to be like, nah. <laughs> we set it anyway. I'm not playing with that. Uh, you don't get all the information you need at level 5. Really. Well, to be honest, you don't get all your information at level 6 either, but you have a really good idea. Yeah. There are some combinations of if your special attack goes to t from 12 to 14, you can still struggle a bit. And the ideal Poplio, pop, Poplio? Poplio for uh, record attempts is plus speed nature with a really high IV speed. But the the frustrating thing about that is, is that you still need really good special attack. So it's like if you don't get a plus special attack nature, your IV needs to be quite high for it to be a really good Poplio. And with the strat or with the route we're actually using here, or Amoeba, uh, very high special attack is actually much better than with the old route or with the standard route. Yep. So, although actually I'm not too fussed for it for the marathon because missing that range really doesn't matter at all. Like yeah. it's just time, uh, quote unquote, just time loss. Yeah. One feature of all the cutscenes that our character is in, he never has any facial expressions whatsoever. He's just dead behind the eyes. 
he's just smiling. It's just a smile, which is great for some later cutscenes when some real dramatic crap is going down and you're just stood in the background like, smile. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, so we have the opportunity here to nickname Pop here. It's not worth it. Um, despite how much text and how much how many cutscenes are in this game, the text is super fast. It's like eight characters a frame. So nicknaming Pop here just isn't worth it. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, like that really happens when you uh, hold a button like L A. That's the text just flies by, pretty much. Right, time to check some stats. Twelve, ten. Okay, we're gonna see. This might, this could be the worst case scenario if it goes to thirteen, but this could be runnable. So we need to feed three beans and pet poplio six times here. We are gonna do this once more. Um, we would kind of do everything in one go if we could, but poplio's a a fussy Pokemon and doesn't want to eat all five beans at one go. It already struggles with the third. Yeah. You do sometimes randomly get like a faster. It will just eat the third one a bit faster. I don't know what causes that. Yeah. There's like a strat I think Hepop told me about where you can like. Oh, you can let go of the bean and then re grab it. Yeah, and that will stop. So there's like a. It's not even an animation, but there's like a build up that Poplio does when you take the bean away. It won't eat it immediately, but if you drop it and then pick the bean up immediately, it skips that little wait. I don't know why that happens really. Um, yeah. And also there's like execution to the uh, petting part. We like pet different parts of Poplio where you get maximum friendship, but I, I don't know how the set is called. Um, but it has like its favorite spots and you we want to like alternate between them. So that's because it takes longer when you always pet the same spots. <laughs> For some reason he likes being pet on his eyes. Which I always thought was strange. I never thought about that. I always thought it's like his cheek. It does say cheek in the notes, but it, I definitely just rub his eyes. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, this is great, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I really want to see 14 special attack. I also didn't really pay attention to my defense. I saw that the nature was plus one defense minus the other. It was not here, I think. No, it wasn't plus attack. I say it's either plus defense minus special defense or plus special defense minus defense, I think. I thought I saw Naughty. Maybe, oh. yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. I'll be able to check it here. I know. Yeah. If this goes to 13 special attack, it's getting me to... Hey! <laughs> Get rid of that. Yeah, 12 and the 13 is just not great. You struggle quite a lot with, like, ranges. It's it's not fun. You can take it, but... Yeah, not, not great. I have to ignore my Japanese cheating device, please. Everybody close your eyes. Yeah, you saw nothing. <laughs> Nintendo is on its way. Unfortunately, because I got a, a tempting Poplio that wasn't good enough, I'm going to have to do the, the petting again, so you get more pets for your money here. Yay, more petting. I'm sad that they don't pick the, the popular colored ones, but the light blue. <laughs> I pick the one that's the closest, just because it's the fastest. I don't think it matters what color you give them. Though. No, it doesn't matter. I used to give them the red ones, for some reason. Yeah, yeah this puppy though is modest, and it has uh, 13 special attack at 5 and 10 speed. So the speed's as pretty much as good as it'll get. For a neutral nature. I did do the beans already, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, the, say the only real worry about this one is that the defense is a bit low, but it's not critically low. And HP is good, so it should yeah. be fine. The good thing is, for any percent resets, you can already see on the first water gun roll um, if you have a like, good or bad special attack. Yeah. On it will, if you have good special attack, you will always get the good roll, or you will never get the bad roll. That's it. Yeah. 
So, um, so yeah. you want to see the HP drop to the last, I think it's the N in Litten. Yeah. And if it's a bit higher than that, it's guaranteed to be bad. It is possible to 1 in 16 high roll bad special attack and it'll look good. But... See if that's an indicator that that's good special attack. I mean, we already know. But... And then if you crit, as long as it kills, it should be good. Here you'll see some good stats. So 13 plus 1 and 10 plus 1 in speed is great. Yes. In this game, you don't even lose time when you check your uh, stats on the level up because you always get the animation with the plus. Like you get your stats and then a plus one or plus two or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's like new to this generation. And there's different ways that runners look at their stats as well. Some people will take a screenshot as they pop up. I'm a fan of recording my runs in .mkvs and looking at my stats back. So I can just open up the video file despite the fact it's still recording into it. I also have just realised that it's a really good thing that that pop here wasn't runnable because I'm not local recording so I have no way of actually inputting my stats. I would not have been ready to uh, screenshot. I would have had to ask chat to clip every level up and just, like, tell me what it was. But yeah, now that we've got Pop, we are going to be kind of doing tutorial sections, I guess. Um, we are in the more handholdy era of Pokemon, so they will be showing us how catches work, how... Well, they always show us how catches work, too, fair. Well, they'll be talking in depth about battles. This game loves to hand out free heals as well. Uh, there's fun little movement optimizations all over in this run as well. There's things like um, if you if you're stood facing a direction for a cutscene and you want to run in the opposite direction, like pretty much like turn around straight away and go. Um, if you just hold run and hold that direction, your character will do a, a little animation where it spins around before he starts running. Um, you can actually skip that by like holding the direction you want to run in, but not holding B to run and then pressing B immediately afterwards. So you effectively walk, you like instantly turn around with the walk and then start running. Um, I never knew that. Yeah. So you know, like you just that like, kind of like weird spin. It's yeah, really, yeah. I think the most obvious place for it is like the normal trial after you just like fought the rats and stuff. You'll often like try and turn around at a kind of like, it's not quite a full turnaround. And the way that the character turns around is a bit weird as well sometimes. And it just locks you into that animation. And there's also things like when you go to talk to NPCs, um, the game will, like, if you talk to the NPC at a strange angle, the game will try and, like, spin either you or the NPC or both of you around to, so that it looks like you're actually talking to each other. Um, so ideally, when you go to talk to NPCs, you want to be facing the direction, like, like facing directly at them, if you can, um, to avoid that little spin around. Uh, the market guys are the best examples of that. If you talk to the market guys from an angle, because they're stood still, they'll have to spin around and talk to you afterwards. Yep. So that catch tutorial is obviously scripted. We're also going to get a scripted encounter as soon as we run into the grass. About halfway through this grass we'll get a picky peck. That's a guaranteed catch. And we do need something on our team for a double fight later. So as this is guaranteed and we're going to be forced to encounter it, we're just going to catch it. Yeah, all, all the encounters on this route here are 100% catch rate, so... Are they? Are they I'm like pretty sure, and it's the same for, I think, Auras and XY on like the first route you always have 100% catch rate. Right. I just thought it was this one encounter because it's scripted and it's straight after the catch tutorial. No, it's everyone. When I did the catch them all, you just run through and catch everything you get <laughs> while you go. But yeah, for some reason this scripted encounter exists, I still don't know why. It's the same in Oras, isn't it? You always get yeah. something like halfway through the first portion of grass. Yeah, after three steps in, in Oras, after two steps in XY. Yeah. Then the same in Usum, you get the red Redita in Usum. So we want to minimise grass steps, so we take a bit of a longer path there. Not getting an encounter in that grass is quite nice. 
That's probably yeah. the second worst patch of grass that we're going to run through. We don't spend too long in this run with without repels. Um, but there is one long section of grass later. And encounters in this game are very long. It's something like 20 seconds per encounter. Yeah. It's very annoying. But maybe the most annoying part is just encounters are just so slow. And even more so when you play on all 3DS. It just takes forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bear in mind we are on new 3DS here, so everything old 3DS, if you if the screen goes to black, old 3DS is going to take like three times as long to load everything. So that's after e going into every battle, after every battle. It's so like here, this would just be three times as long. Opening the menu takes longer, like, it's really, really noticeable. Because I remember switching from old 3DS to new 3DS, and I used to have a bit of a habit of like, like adjusting my glasses whenever I opened the menu because I expected there to be like a pause in time there and now it's like oh, opening the menu is just like instant in this game. I don't have the time to do that anymore. Also, please never ask me anything lore-wise in this game. I genuinely don't know what's going on. I've tried to read the text in a run before and it just goes by a bit too fast so I don't really know what's happening. I slightly know it, but it's, it, yeah. It's better than Usum, that's what I know that. <laughs> Usum, Usum's story is very bad compared to this. Yeah, we're gonna fight How again here. Um, he has a Pichu this time, although the Pichu can't really do too much damage, thankfully. Um, but the, the Pichu, when it becomes a Pikachu, becomes a bit more of an issue. But this fight generally will go fine, but really does have the potential to roll. And that's if you get Thundershock Paralysis. Or crit. Yes, yeah, crit's not great as well. Very effective crits uh, de deal a ton of damage. Yeah. The rolls are very weird. Where, like the max roll just deals significantly more than the standard rolls. Nah, we are in uh, a later generation where they've reduced crits down to 1 in 24. So it's even worse if you do get crit. So yeah, like, oh, that was even less likely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the whole... Oh, hey, Thundershock. Uh, the whole... Oh yeah, this could potentially two-shot. So this is an 11% range if I hit this two-shot. Very nice. Wow. Yeah, that's a rare one. Wait, you, need... you have 16? I didn't even see. Yeah, I have 16. <laughs> But that, even then, it's still only 11%. I think you have to high roll one of the hits. Yeah. Um, yeah, there'll be a fight later on. Like, not too later on, in about 10 minutes' time. Um, where we'll be going against a Magnemite. And its natural roll is a 14. And it basically always rolls a 14. Except for the max roll, which is an 18. And if you have like quite low HP, that max roll can be a death sentence because you can quite often take two thunder shocks and your max HP is 32. So 14 plus 18 gets you. Yep. Well, that will be the first fight that we actually save for is that Emily fight because the Magnemite blows and the Meowth blows too. Yeah, but first there's a lot of cutscenes now. It's like it's maybe the slowest part. I don't know. It, it's no, really... uh, the bit after Aether Paradise, I think, is the worst bit. Oh yeah, do that, the whole that's for sure. the Hapu Executor Island stuff. That's the it's only just... bit where it kind of gets me down. But at that point, you're on a run anyway, so I generally don't care. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes of literally nothing happening. <laughs> yeah, I think that is the uh, the other frustrating part of this game is that while like two hours of it is downtime. The majority of that is not like I can put the DS down and do something else downtime. You still have to sit there and mash. <laughs> like, yeah, that's the worst part. What amount or percentage of this game's runtime is cutscenes? If you're counting like mashing through text like this, I have been told that it's somewhere in the two to two and a half hours range. Someone counts it to be like almost fifty percent of the run. I have no clue. Could be true. Could not be true. 
Uh, Garth told me that War Tab counts that, so I'm willing to believe that it's about right. Yeah. I mean, it definitely feels like that. Yeah. But yeah, then again, what what, did, what do you count as cutscene and what not and everything? Like, I, I think don't know. the one thing that kind of fr frustrates me about the cutscenes, especially in the early games, they'll do a lot of this where, like, um, like here, here's a pretty good example. I'm going to sit in this cutscene here where Lily and my mom, my mom gives me money, Lily, like, is trying to take me to the professor's house and whatever. And then this cutscene will end, and it'll give me control of the game back, but I'm supposed to walk, like, six steps, and then another cutscene activates. It's like, just take the six steps out. Just give me it as one long cutscene. Why do I have to walk six steps? Like, yeah. Especially since you can, can't walk anywhere else. Like, if you yeah. go in another direction, the game will tell you no. You have to go no. the other way. That's it. There you go. That's all I did. And now we're back in a cutscene. <laughs> it's like, just just walk me there. Or just, just jump me there. I don't need to see that. But yeah, as you mentioned, we got money from all mom. And that's I, I, I guess we were very rich because we got a lot of money. <laughs> she does give you a lot of money, yeah, but it's super necessary at the end. Yeah. Because, uh, we're going to go on a big shopping spree immediately. Um, I think it's like about 30k. Yeah, something like that. It's like it's absurd. It, X items in this gen are hella broken, and they remain broken in later gens as well because they're plus two instead of plus one. But they are way more expensive as well. Yes. But you also have money, so it kind of evens out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably a good way to put it. The game's pacing is awful, but it does have some of the highest highs. That's That applies to the speedrun for sure. Like when this run is good, it's really fun, really, really fun. But you do have to sit through stuff like this. Yeah, the first island is just definitely the worst, my least favorite. It's just a lot, a lot of mashing, not a lot of happening, but a lot of fights that can kill you and yeah, kill you on. Yeah. yeah, that first island is like the big, the big downside, really. After that, it's. It gets way better, in my opinion. So we're gonna get Rotom decks and get told some of the lore here. Um, straight after this, we're gonna be running through the, probably the longest patch of grass without repels. Um, you can go in counterless, it's pretty rare. One is probably average, two's a little bit below. It's entirely possible to get like three. But the worst part of it is the leveling of the Pokemon, because even if you play on day or night, the most common Pokemon is either Rattata or Wingle. And at level 7, you very rarely run away. Yeah. Right. Popular is not fast, sadly. Yeah. I do have a slight benefit that I've got a fairly fast Popular here, but even then, if I see a level 7 rat, I'm not going to be running away for a turn, maybe two. And unfortunately, the rats actually pack a punch. Um, if they hit you with, like, Quick Attack. I'm not using Citra, this is genu Genuine new 3DS hardware with a capture card installed. However, you can use Citra if you want to do runs, and that is your only way of recording. I believe they go on the emulator leaderboard. Correct. Yeah. Nobody, nobody has done a run on emulator in quite a long time, but... Do you have record possible. on emulator? Uh, yes. No. It was 457, I think, back then. Probably a 451 now. It's funny, we, Headbob originally agreed to be on commentary with us as well before he we realized that he was doing a run like six hours before this. Um, but we would have literally had every record holder for Boone because you have Emery later, I've got old 3DS and he's got new 3DS. Yeah. I had old 3DS until you, until yeah, you got sorry me. About that. <laughs> it's okay. I got my first record ever. <laughs> you could Slipo's have it. great. Yeah. That's fine. We'll take that as an encounter for sure. I think it's like 20% only. So quite lucky to get Slowpoke because you can always run away. I just run behind that guy. One encounter total is very good. So we do the the final petting and beans here because once we get into the center coming up we all we want to get the candy there but we also don't want to do this in the center because once we walk in our menu gets updated with festival plaza and the festival plaza button goes where this pokemon refresh button is or whatever it's called and if you click festival plaza it's an unskippable like 20 minute cutscene <laughs> i have less runs to doing that <laughs> 
<laughs> not quite 20 minutes, but yeah, uh, too long. It's, it's terrible, yeah. For it's no like benefit. Three, it's three minutes, I think. And in Uzum, you have to do it. Very fun. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, the, they were forced to do it, like, I think before the grass trial. There's like a cutscene uh, where you get sent back into it. But yeah, that's like the the earliest possible point we can get five beans down Poplio's throat, and it's just in time for us to visit a center and pick up the candy from the cafe. Yeah, and now we get the 20% XP boost we were talking about, since we got that, like, Poplio's happy and la laughs us now. Yeah. And, and that XP boost really... is hella required. <laughs> yeah, it's already, like, after the second Pokemon, you're already a level down, almost. Mm -hmm. So while we're here, we'll deposit the picky pack so that we can avoid certain double fights coming up. And in case you get damaged by Rattatas uh, in the grass when you get encounters, you can also PC heal if you took too, too much damage and you're scared. Since you're Ooh, already at the PC. That. Yeah. You can just very easily heal to full again if you're scared. That's genius. I've definitely gone into the school with like half health before. Yeah, it happens a lot. Yeah. The rats do pack a punch, unfortunately, because they've got yeah. uh, stab behind a lot of their moves. And I think they have hustle, I think. Oh, At God, least yeah. the, the very first rat we fought before, how to, uh, has hustle, so it can miss, but it deals a lot of damage. Yeah, so if we're running towards, like, area transitions, like that gate, where you've got to press A to open it and go through, it's worth mashing from a distance, because you'll be surprised sometimes how far away you can activate those and save a step or two. Um, most of the... well, the initial school fights are generally free up until the Grimer, and then the Grimer is not free. The Grimer hates. You generally don't want to take any damage, or like that as little crit damage was as useless. possible. Oh, that's another thing as well, yeah. Crits only do one and a half times damage in this game rather than two. And a lot of the time, <laughs> excuse me, a lot of the time if we're, like, if we're two-shotting a Pokemon, we're never in a range where the crit's going to give us the one shot. Like, it's surprisingly few opportunities in this game for a crit to save a turn. Yeah. You hug that wall there, she talks to you a lot earlier than normal. Uh, this is a this is a 1 in 16 range, unless you have amazing special attack, which I don't. So the max roll only will kill this bonsler. It, ha it never happens, I swear. I have it happen a fair bit, I'll be honest. I've, I must clearly steal your luck, so that's not yeah. it. You can generally tell, like, before the HP bar's even done. Like, the if you got the one shot, it moves a lot faster. Yeah, it, it like it it uh, it's weird, but you can see when you deal a lot of damage. Like as well later on, if you get crits, you can immediately see it because yeah. the uh, HP bar just speeds down and it just flies by and you're dead. Then the worst one is if you've got a range on the Salazzle. So here's a good example of like, I'm gonna deliberately move a bit further over because if I talk to this girl straight on, she doesn't spin around and try and talk to me. So I actually effectively probably took an extra step to get to her, but then I skipped, like, a small cutscene of either my character or her character turning around to talk to us. I'd like for this bird to growl me so I don't have to worry about my HP for Grimer. I should not speed, I think? Or is it a speed? Oh, it might be a speed tie. I think it's a speed tie. Just win the tie. I did, yes! Wow, nice. Damage less. Wow. So this Grimer coming up is kind of scary. Uh, Bite does, like... Kind of depending on your HP and my, uh, on your defense. My defense is not great. It'll do like 10 plus. And it also has poison, not poison point, but poison touch. touch I think it is. Touch, yeah. I think, yeah. So bite and pound will poison you. Um, so at this HP, I'm basically safe unless he crits. I don't think I die even if I get like bite, poison, bite. I think I'm fine. Yeah, we three can take. Yeah. yeah, you can take a lot more damage coming into this fight, and you kind of have to make a decision on the fly as to whether you want to heal before or not. It's 
like you are you will always get poisoned in this fight. It's like so rare to not get poisoned here. It Watch always also has poison powder. I Chris the Grimer as well for no benefit. I think it could have KO'd actually if I had a better first roll. Uh, I think it could do a yes, KO. Yes, maybe. He didn't poison off the first hit, thankfully. Yeah, so, yeah it might have been close. So baby doll eyes we don't want. And now we come up to what is basically the uh, the first boss of the run. Um, Emily leads with a Magnemite that does nearly half, and if you have two bad special defense, will do over half. Um, and you have to actually change your strats based upon the really bad defense and do an early market trip as well. Um, I actually will outspeed, and I have a chance to... I have a 60% range to two-shot it. That was really bad positioning. So you can see there, because I talked to Lily from the side, she turned around before the conversation started. I was supposed to talk to her from the front, really. Yeah, we talked to her because she gets a, gives a free heal. I am going to take a save here. Mostly because I kind of effectively afford to die in this fight and come back, but if I'm going to die, I'm going to die early on. So saving there. Saves in this game don't take long at all. Um, but there's lots of, well not lots, but there's going to be a handful of scenarios where I could die to a fight, but I'm not going to save because the earliest point to save for it is like way bad. Um, I think it might be Illum a fight coming up. I'm not actually going to save for that because I'd have to save a fight before. Anyway, I don't want to get paralyzed here and I want to hit the two shot range. That's a very bad first roll. <laughs> so I'm not going to hit this range unless I max roll, I don't think. Wow. Okay. Okay. I thought it worked. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. That's really important because now you probably get, well, hopefully get the healer's fight, which is really fast. This meow this... always bites and it crit me and it flinched me, <laughs> okay? Very cool. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I have to heal. I have got one off at least, so I just need to avoid, I think, two flinches? No, I might need to avoid one because he's going to roll seven. Yeah. But please don't flinch me. Of course. <laughs> So this is why Emily can dictate your pace. It's because like I've seen two flinches now and this fight is like five turns longer than it should be. He's crit me again. Okay. Right. Hey, we're That's through. Two potions is fine. I'll take that. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that fight can just spiral. Like if you see Thundershot Paralysis turn one, it's like, great, now I've got to get through Power Flinch. And the ideal fight is to just walk in, two shot the Magnemite, two shot the Meowth, and never heal. But it's just. There's just so much stuff to dodge to actually get that fight. It's ridiculous. I think we actually got the perfect split. I, I got no encounter and the four turn. Oh, really? Nice. I was like, I, I gold it by like 30 seconds. <laughs> I've had. Uh, on new 3DS, I've had one encounter and perfect Emily fight, and I got stuff like. I two shot the Pichu. And I got a crit on the rat, so it was a really good split. Uh, I think ten it's technically possible on new 3DS to get like a sub 33 Emily. But the best I've seen is like a 33 3X. So. But, but we're back to cutscenes now. We're gonna we're gonna listen to Lily whine about stuff for a bit, and then Hal's gonna jump up and down for a bit, and then we're going to go to a city and a whole bunch of other stuff's going to happen, including taking pictures and weird stuff like that. How's going to talk about how he recognises the sound of our feet, which is kind of creepy. Oh, I've never done that before. I didn't talk to Tauros, I talked to Harla. <laughs> Just holding the wrong angle. Okay. There's a fun little bit here just after How disappears where Lily's going to turn around to talk to us and then immediately turn back around. And if I mash fast enough, she'll just do a full 360. She won't stop between. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I've got good mashing today. There we go. <laughs> That's just a test of whether your mashing's on point or not. So yeah, next is 
the cutscene coming up where L equals A matters, you will see that we need to go to the wall to take a picture and to like the Rotom whatever camera thingy. <laughs> yeah, and, I don't uh, know what it is either, don't worry. And if you don't have L equals A enabled, you can press L to activate it immediately. And if you have L equals A, you have to wait for like Rotom to stop talking until you can press your cut, uh, touch screen and open. Yeah. It's actually the R button. It's yeah. a really strange thing. I don't know why L equals A would like switch your R button off, but yeah, for whatever reason it does. Yeah. I, this, I hope this lady doesn't trap me. These NPCs have surprisingly wide like bonk fields. <laughs> it's a nightmare on Tauros if uh, an NPC spawns in the wrong spot. How recognizes the sound of my feet? No comments. Yeah, this is where we get the camera, and then an NPC is going to tell us, Oh, aren't you super lucky? You're going to be able to picture Pokemon here, or something. At least we get really nice chill music. Yes. That's, that's true. Oh, yeah, let's see this game. Yeah. We're very vibing, just relaxing. There are some absolute bangers in this game, including the best theme I've ever heard in a Pokemon game, which I always thought was Iris theme in Gen 5, but it's not. I'm sorry. Wait, there is a boss one? theme in this game that absolutely slaps. Oh, okay. No idea, I know. <laughs> you know the law. Of course I know. Of knowledge. <laughs> so yeah, this is the point. Um, L equal A, L equals A users have to just kind of sit around for a second or two, waiting for Rotom to stop talking. Whereas we can just press the R button. Um, so we have to go into this for whatever reason, but we can just immediately quit and not do anything. So. And as you might notice, we are playing as the boy character, which is the only reason why we do that is coming up here. Yeah. In this Although cutscene. Yeah. Doesn't Headball play as girl? I, I play as girl. Oh, you play as girl, that was it, yeah. I knew one of the records did at one point. I, I do. Yeah. I like I like the girl way more than the boy. But yeah, as, a, as a girl, you get an extra what, makeup case. Yeah, I think that's makeup right. Makeup in, in this cutscene. So it's like four seconds. Three to four seconds extra. This is probably a good point as well. Uh, actually, no, it's not because I've got to do a market trip here, so I'm not going to start talking at all. I'm going to pay attention to the things I'm buying. I never knew uh, you can go inside. Wow. I've never oh, seen yeah. that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, big shopping trip here. A lot of X items. Huh? Oh, my B button. Yeah, so I have a bit of a dodgy B button on my 3DS now. Sometimes, if I'm just holding it, it'll still. I activate and deactivate. So if you ever do stuff randomly like that, it's not a, an input error. It's not my fault. It's mine. Yeah. Uh, that's a slight optimization there that I found was to do the right side market trip there first because once you get to buying your single antidote, you can only afford one. So the market dude doesn't ask you how many you want. He just goes, oh, you want an antidote. Okay. We can sometimes get oh, what perfect timing. We can sometimes get screwed by the NPCs walking along this path. Thank you very much, random lady, for giving us an example. I mean, usually you can squeeze by if they're like on the straight line, yeah. but at the corner was, it doesn't work. That was the worst one I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. And. So this fight, there's a Pokemon in the Illuma fight coming up that's quite dangerous. I'm dead to a crit always, and sometimes, depending on the damage rolls, I'm dead otherwise. But it's sort of not worth saving for, because I have to get through this fight as well. Um, it kind of is worth saving for, but isn't at the same time. If I die, I'll just run back, and I have a, a spare special attack, so... Oh. If I, I die twice, that could be worse, but hey. I could have sworn that you can save after this fight. You but could like, probably I... say no to him, save and then say yes, but... Yeah, that's what, was, yeah. that's what it was, yeah. That's what it was, yeah. No, we're just gonna go fast. I mean, we only really die to... As long as I manage my HP correctly, we only really die to a crit. And he gets one turn to do it. 
Uh, this is the Zubat fight that parallels that Zubat fight in Emerald, in that he has Astonish, Absorb, and Supersonic, and we two shot. Um, the only difference in Emerald is that it's Leech Life and Service Absorb. It's weird how similar these fights are. But Supersonic, I suppose, is a bit nicer in this gen because Confusion is only one in three to actually hit yourself. There's a fight coming up later where we'll almost certainly get confused turn one and we just don't bother healing it. We just go. Alright, I need to pay attention to what damage rolls I can get here. The max is at 18, 26, and 36. Yeah, this game loves to hand out free heals, so the actual damage we take on that Zubat doesn't matter at all. It's just time loss in that immediate fight. So we want to set up a specific HP range on the Yangus, uh, because we are slower than the Smeargle, so Smeargle hits us with Leaf Edge into Torrent, and then we ideally KO the Smeargle with Torrent. But yeah, depending on what you get from this young goose, you might not be able to set up Torrent correctly because it has Leer and Tackle, which you can use. But yeah, but usually it works out. Leer here would be great. Nice, okay. So I don't die. The max roll is 26 and the min roll is 22, so I'll always get Torrent and I don't die to a max roll. So this is perfect as long as he doesn't crit me. And it's a 13 and 16 on Smeargle, right? I don't know. It doesn't really matter if you miss it, because he just potions and then you kill turn two. But yeah, I have a pretty good chance of one-shotting there, because I've got really good special attack. Yeah. But I'll be honest, I deleted those ranges out of my notes, because it doesn't really change anything. <laughs> so I don't know what they are. Fair enough. Because he, would, I... if, if you get him down into red health, he will always potion. There's basically no... There's no decision making based on the ranges there, you just uh, keep mashing more to I just like to complain, alright? Yeah. Oh, don't get me wrong, I've definitely missed that and then been like, oh, what was that range? <laughs> NPC getting him away again. Yeah, you better stop. So, we're done with Illima, and now we can go head towards the normal trial. We get to do what is probably the finickiest bit of movement in the entire run. Um, there is a trainer coming up that I think was intended to be required by the developers because of her, like, sight. Her line of sight is like across the entire ramp that you're about to walk up. But you can with really. Oh, actually, before I get there, if I can position myself really well here, I can skip a little bit of movement, and I think that's good. So normally, once you finish talking to Harla here, your character moves out of the way to let the rest of the cutscene play. But yeah, I position myself really well, and it just snaps me to the spot because of where I was positioned. Right, and now we're gonna do Crystal Pass, so if I can hug this wall on the left, I will avoid that lady on the right-hand side and not have to do an entire fight. I have to step into the grass and like squeeze by. That was pretty good. I always yeah. play that pass a little bit safe and walk it. But if you don't get an encounter and you get past her, that's the ideal scenario. I always go full send. That usually works. <laughs> I, I still hit her even doing that. Like, I, sometimes that pass confuses the hell out of me, and I feel like she sees you from a mile away. Ooh. With this rod, there's actually a benefit to fighting her. She has a ghastly, um, and if you fight her, you get you evolve earlier, so yeah. it's not that bad. But obviously, it's not ideal, so you don't want to fight her if possible. I would have been totally fine with hitting her, especially for a marathon run. It's actually like makes Harla a little bit nicer, but yeah, exactly. It's cool to show off the pass. Because I'm fairly certain that that fight should just be intended, like, with the, the view range that she's got. Yeah, totally. And in Ultra Sun and Moon, you pass her twice, if I remember rightly. That's correct. Which is yeah. my idea of a nightmare. Yeah, you, on the second one you are in horror, so if you like dismount and then run around and you mount again, it's, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> Hey, more Team Skull. Yep. So we... This Drowsy is obviously fairly specially tanky, so it's actually worth to just use a X special attack because of the amount of extra damage you do. It doubles your special attack, so you go from four-shotting it to two-shotting it. Uh, 
and it only has pawn, so it like, doesn't really matter the damage you take. Kind of a shame you get this random free heal before this fight, because normally you'd just be in torrent, and if you're in high enough torrent, you probably just two shot. Mm. And tank anyway. Yeah, there's, there's some scenarios in this game where you, you get a free heal that you don't really want. Yeah. Quite a lot of fights where we kind of set up torrent and then just instantly like lose it again afterwards. Lose yeah. it again. It's just like, no, dude, do you know how much work I put into getting that torrent? So, yeah, also quite a lot of like fights where Ekrid really messes you up because we set up torrent quite often. I do repel for this tiny patch of grass here, but uh, I'm reliably informed that there's an encounter you can get there that will kill you. And we have the yeah. repel anyway, so... Yeah, exactly. It's uh, I used to skip the repel, but I don't know, it's just not worth it if you get the encounter. It's so slow, uh, so it's just better on average to repel. And then again, you are slower than quite a few of the encounters you can get. It's, it's yeah, not good. How hands us a gift of three repels, uh, three revives that we're immediately gonna sell. We don't like his gift. Very much a lot of money, so we mm -hmm. take that. And then we're gonna max our super potion count because this is pretty much gonna take us through to sort of the mid range of the game on our heals. Now we get so many free heals anyway that we really don't use that many potions. But yeah, and this is... Uh, go on, you, you go. <laughs> okay, and we arrive at the first trial of the game, and how trial works are basically you enter into the trial area and then you can't leave until you beat the trial, or you die. Yep. And this is kind of a scary one. Um, all the Pokémon we're going to be facing are Rattatas and Raticates. They have either normal or dark type moves, and they'll always stab. So they do do a lot of damage. This first one especially is kind of scary because it has Hyperfang. Mm. Um, it's not, again, not really worth saving. If I die, I just go back to that center that we just left. Uh, and it's quite unlikely to die. But now that I've said that, I'm sure I will. Okay. Yeah. This trial is absolutely awful. It's really annoying. As you might notice, or might have noticed, we have this arming voice, which is very effective against dark types, so that's at least somewhat useful. But sadly, it does. it's not quite enough to KO the Rattatas in one hit. We sadly always do it KO. That was fine. Ooh, that was close. Never seen it do that much damage before. Okay, that was a fine first round. So, ideally on the second rat, the second rat's a lot nicer, it doesn't have Hyper Fang, it has Super Fang. Um, so I don't think I can actually die at all here, I don't even think Attack or Crit will kill me. But ideally we're just going to take a hit, turn one, get Torrent, and one shot. But that, that's a lot of ifs. Tail Whip is kind of scary, I guess, but I don't think Tail Whip Tackle would kill me here. I don't think either. Super Fang's perfect, hit the range please. That's so dumb. Okay. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Living. <laughs> I slightly regretted pressing Mortigan there when I did. So I was like, like, I'm not sure that eight's gonna live or not. <laughs> so, I was nice say about to find out that that's a range. <laughs> Christ. Oh, living by the seat of our pants. It's kind of sad because we get uh, Aqua Jet like on level. Which level do we get it after 15. Eradicate, right? Yeah. yeah. So having if you had Aqua Jet for the Rattatas would be quite nice because they have Quick Attack, but at least we can take like another turn of Hyper Fang or Super Fang or whatever. So it would be quite nice to have. A 
was another example there. I didn't hold run immediately. I held left to skip the turnaround and then ran straight afterwards. Da -da 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 -da. I need to remember to heal here. I'm not going to drowsy with 3 HP or whatever I've got. That's not a good idea. Nope. Yeah, another drowsy fight. Um, if we had... It depends on how that last rat fight goes. You can get a scenario where if you've got Torrent for one of these water guns, you can skip the X special attack. And you can just... Water gun, water gun, torrent, water gun, and that will kill. Um, but if not, it's the same as the previous drowsy fight where I just use the X item and double hit. Or two hit, sorry. I would like to avoid getting crit by this drowsy. Um, I'm going to go in. I'm not going to heal before the next raticate, ideally. Um, so the less damage I take, the better. You see that X special attacks are actually at the top of our back, uh, which makes it way easier uh, to like access them in the back. Since you only have to press left A, if they weren't like at the top, you would always have to like do an extra input, and that adds up throughout the run. Gazi actually max rolled me on the second turn as well. What a douche! Shouldn't matter, usually. Nah. So this Raticate coming up is a bit of a weird fight. He does do a lot of damage, but he only has... He has Tackle, Super Fang, Focus Energy, and Tail... Tail Whip? Is that yeah, right? Tail Whip or Lear, yeah. whatever. Lear, something like that, yeah. So it's actually quite hard to die, because obviously Super Fang can do a lot of damage, but he can't actually kill you, unless you're at 1 HP. So the only thing he has that actually kills is Tackle. Uh, and then he's completely random AI, so it's totally possible to walk into this fight and get, like, focus energy three times and take no damage. Um, but there is potential for this to kill me. Basically, just got to dodge Super Fang turn one. That's the only win condition he has. Yeah. So this should just be fine. That's a crit. I can dodge Super Effective Text, I guess. That tackle's slightly annoying. I'm gonna have to super potion instead of potion there. Uh, I guess that's fine. Yeah. My potion count is pretty much fine. I did use two on Emily, but I haven't used any since. So. Aqua Jet, quite useful to have a priority move. We can mm -hmm. keep it for quite a long time. Popio's attack is pretty dire, but yeah, the it's just useful for finishing stuff off when they don't die. I need to remember to save for this fight. <laughs> really, really important save. Don't want to die here. Yeah, this, this fight is absolutely terrible. So we're going to heal to full. We're going to take this opportunity to turn XP share off. And we're going to repel ready for the movement after this section. Yeah, so this... We get introduced to the totem fights here. Um, the totem Pokemon will... I don't think they particularly give Raticate a boost at the start of this. Or maybe they do, but it's something fairly, uh, fairly low level because it's the first one. But totem Pokemon get a boost to either some stats or later in the game all stats right at the start of the fight. Um, some of these boosts can be absolutely terrible. Yeah, but this guy just sucks because he outspeeds... So yeah, there's a defense boost makes a difference. Yeah. Um, he outspeeds and has Bite, which does a lot of damage because of Stab in the first place, but also can flinch. I tell that turn one's not great. That's terrible. You take a lot of damage now. I think I outspeed this ally rat. Right? Also, they summon ally Pokemon, which is also a nightmare. Yeah, it's always a, what, a double rat, a 1v2. After first the Simon voice is great because it hits both. I just want to avoid the flinch here. Okay, so he quick attacks me. Uh, Didn't get flinch. Okay, that's very, quite important. And I, I tank a bite from here, so I just need to avoid the flinch. Again. I think it's a range, actually. No, but uh, I didn't get it. But it's fine. I only took one tail up, so if you tail uh, up to me again, it would have been a range. Yeah, the thing is that those uh, Toast Pokemon have random IVs, basically. So 
in my notes, well, head bob calculated the damage I can do with most or like max IV. So that's why I thought it was a range, but it's only a range and a bad range with mm, with perfect attack. So it was so, very very favorite to live. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Is that like I think that Raticate has random everything, but again, once you get towards the later end of the game, I think they want to make the fights a bit harder. So a lot of the later totem Pokemon have specific set natures and IVs, except for some reason. It doesn't matter where you are and uh, what totem fight you are in the game. Every totem Pokemon has randomized attack IVs, yeah, w which kind of blows because you're nearly always going to be taking physical damage. Sure. Uh, you, you never know exactly what you're going to get, and a lot of the time you're going to be uh, like trying to get torrent in a totem fight. Mm. Hey, Ekman, I got a sub one. Yeah, it's good for a marathon. Yeah, Especially considering I loaded a backup properly. Yeah. You didn't die, and you got, I guess, somewhat clean fights. Yeah, I think uh, if that was like a regular run, that would be a pretty clean time. Yeah. Alright, so we have to have Repel up now, because once the Totem Pokemon's beat, uh, wild Pokemon start spawning in here. We also have to take a slightly roundabout path out to avoid the rat fights. Yeah, you can see the shaking, like... Ground in the Scarlet. background there. Yeah. Uh, greetings, Captain Illumer here. Greetings. He says that at the start of like every conversation you have with him, as if you've forgotten who he was since the last time you spoke to him. I've never seen this guy in my life. <laughs> <laughs> every five minutes. <laughs> Do you know this fanboy? I have never seen this man in my life. Uh, we're going to get taught now how Z moves work, but as I am from the UK, they are Z moves. Any questions? Uh, yes. Please speak correctly. <laughs> we invented the language. I'll hear nothing more of it. Um, we are going to eventually use Z moves, but it's pretty much going to be exclusively for water type moves. So we're not going to equip anything until we get Waterium. And also, we saw that the barrier was like removed. We can get access to like the next area. They like use the barrier as to restrict you to like you do the trial now, please. Do not go anywhere else. Um, coming up, we're gonna see the first sort of deviation from an older. I get well, I guess older routes not technically correct, it can still be the optimal route depending on your popular stats, but I'm going to specifically do a high experience route. So there's a certain route where they will intentionally die to this how fight coming up and a later how fight as well because it leads a Pikachu and Electro Ball does like, depending on your stats it'll do somewhere between like 13 and 50% of the damage. Um, but it's also not Particularly reliable. It doesn't necessarily use Electro Ball just because it's super effective and does a lot of damage. You can sit there trying to die and just be getting quick attacks all the time. Or um, Growl. Yeah. Even worse. So, I prefer the consistency of beating the fight because it doesn't take much. You basically just X special attack, Water Gun, Aqua Jet, Water Gun. Um, it is slower than the top end of dying to how. But it, uh, it's way more consistent, and it will also allow, potentially allow us a chance at some big time saves towards the middle of the run. Movement is a little bit tight here for the repel counts. Um, we don't want to mess up too much because the amount of repels we have will just last to a section just after Harla. So I want to be pretty precise with my movement here. Generally, if you get off this ledge without the repel wearing off, so that's really good. If you can get off that ledge before the repel wears off, your movement's been fine. Yeah. Not yeah, it's not that now. tight once you practice it a little bit. In the first runs, you will probably mess it up and have to risk some tiles. Another free heal. And we're going to fight how here. So this is the... There is a potential to Aqua Jet the Litten in Torrent, although at my attack. 
because I'm a modest nature, it's not going to be a particularly great range. I think it's 50-50. Yeah. We might be forced into that scenario. If I've got Torrent, there's a chance that Listen kills me, so I just have to hope that I hit the 50-50. I did have a run recently that ended up being sick, that actually I was intending to do high experience and I got two shot by this Pikachu. I was like, oh, okay, guess I'm going to do the other route then. Yeah, it, it can happen, but it's it's just so often, it happens so often that you just get trolled and don't die. That's just so annoying. Okay, um, I don't know if Litten kills me with Scratch here. I'm going to go for Aqua Jet because it's 50-50 to kill anyway, so... I might as yeah. well. And there's no point just rolling the dice and finding how it doesn't. But that's gonna live. Please don't. Okay, Ember should live. No burn. Okay. okay. Mm. Scratch also... definitely would have killed me if that Ember did five. <laughs> so I'm quite lucky yeah. there. But... Quite scary. Yeah. See, so, like that's the case where dying is really fast. But even killing wasn't that slow really compared to yeah. like taking another turn to die. So yeah. Yeah, I think he would have gone for the... I don't think we would have seen Growl or anything turn three, so yeah, that would have been a very fast, um, like, low experience fight. But Pikachu does not always play Electro Ball like that. Uh, sometimes he uh, decides to be a douche and just growl you for eternity. Move over to the left here slightly to avoid that guy. We'll look at us. And... We need to attach an Aura and Berry for this upcoming fight. Probably could have combined that with uh, a save later on, but I'm so used to attaching the berry there. Uh. We still not fought that kid, so I'm just going to roll through the grass behind him. And the Harla fight coming up is an interesting one. Um, it's definitely possible for me to die here. I think 24. No, it's not actually. My HP is good enough that I shouldn't. But the, the Mankey, because I've got an Orenberry attached, uh, it is possible for the Mankey to like low roll the first hit, not activate the berry, and then high roll the second one and kill me. So I am just going to take that safety save. Because we are using a lot of X items in this fight. Can't afford to lose them and yeah. back this up in a reasonable way. But ideally, in this fight, we want to get Torrent um, on the Maka Hitter. If we don't, my special attack is decent, so the ranges aren't bad. Oh, it's a 10 and 16 on Maka Hitter. Uh, we'll see. We'll just get Torrent. It's the easy way to do it. This is also, we barely do not get level 17, sadly, so we barely don't evolve for this battle. So we, yeah. Oh, I don't slow. like this. I don't like this, Mankey. Um, where's the, the, the focus energy, brother? Okay, that's not great. <laughs> uh, can be fine. I, I don't think I'm going to get Torrent, so I'm going to be rolling the Rangers. No, I'm not yeah. going to get Torrent. So we are going to have Rangers on this Maka Hitter, um, but I do have a lot of HP. So I think we'll be alright. The Mark Eater can also go for Sand Attack, but we have Dying Voice, which is always hits, so it's not that big, big of a deal. Nice, so that was a 10 and 16 range. So this fight's over now, I think. I don't think this Crabrawler can ever live. I don't, I don't think so, I don't know. Cool. Easy fight. And with that, we're going to evolve from the very cute Poppio to the slightly crappy Brio. But it's alright, because we'll eventually get rid of Brion and get the amazing Primarina. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this line, but it's good. <laughs> I didn't used to like it. I've grown a lot more attached to it now that I'm doing this run. But I still don't like Brion particularly. Yeah, Brion is not good, but Poplio Poplio is alright, I, I assume. I'm just a Rowlet fanboy. Rowlet's definitely the best one of the three. Yeah. I'll give you that one. Well, that is it for the first island, at least. Um, this is normally where you can take a bit of a breather because you've got past a lot of uh, the dangerous early game stuff. 
you get to play a bit more of the game before things start sucking again. Yeah. I lost time to my PB in this split. Oh, I suppose I saved. Oh no. Yeah. I mean, my PB is terrible. Oh no, it's not. I've got new splits now. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I recently PB'd, so I don't know these splits at all. But now we're going to get the the Mac bike of Gen 7. Tauros movement is the most interesting part of this run, at least for me. It's pretty cool. You don't need HMs anymore, which is definitely a nice part. Don't need any HM, HM friends anymore. Aye. Good change. It does feel a little bit contrived how they give you these Pokemon, though. That's the only thing. It's yeah. like, oh, you got a boulder puzzle coming up? Here's a Machamp. What? Okay. <laughs> Cool, I guess. Can I use this in a battle? No? Oh, okay. no. <laughs> and I really don't like the gear, like the outfit. Yeah. I think it looks pretty stupid. <laughs> Ilma shows up, goes, hey, let's have a battle, and then leaves. <laughs> you get your head. <laughs> Tauros, uh, if you press the run button, will start charging. He does do a little bit of an animation, so that's the important bit for the movement, is making sure you get past that grass. He does do a little bit of a build-up animation before he starts charging, so there are certain sections where it's just it's not necessarily faster to be on Tauros or to charge with him, but he is a lot faster than any of the movement option that we have at the moment. I don't want an NPC to spawn on this left hand side, because that would be silly, thank you. It kinda did, but not quite. We start applying the repels here because it's slightly faster to run through this section, even with the load screens. And the repels will just continue to be uh, applied for the next section of movement. A little bit of a cutscene here, if you're actually playing the run you can take a a minute break here because you don't have to do anything once you get on the boat. Quite a good timing because like you're done with the like reset heavy part where a lot of runs die, so you can don't really have to care about <laughs> having to do a, to do a bathroom break before the run. You can just always play for the first hour, and then yeah. when you're when the like you know you are on the run now, pretty much you can always take the bathroom break. But quite a nice timing. There's a few well space like cutscenes for this run, honestly. Mm. You tend to get one between each island, so Yeah. But yeah, I always I always use this one, I think. Almost every time. Yeah. No, I've I have it's been ages since I saw this cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> And we didn't mention that, but we can bind up to four. I don't know how they're called. The, uh, the rider Pokemon, yeah. Rider Pokemon to the D pad, which is basically the shortcut or the, the select button. You can just press one and then it activates immediately the rider Pokemon. So I have uh, Tauros on. Oh. And there's some rider Pokemon where we're only going to use them like one time. So we'll get a, a Sharpedo later on. We're actually only ever going to use it once. That doesn't get bound to anything. Um, but yeah. And we're going to get like a... Coming up pretty shortly, we're going to get a Stoutland that I think is like the equivalent of the item finder. Um, we never use that, obviously. I missed it. He's supposed to tell him that his joke is not funny. Um, because how needs taking down a peg. 
and he sucks. And also, it's faster, but I missed it. I never bothered with it. I just, <laughs> I, I just meshed A. I think it's only slightly faster, and I just didn't it's, care. Yeah. It's faster if you you know it's coming, but if you sit there and try and like wait for it, then it ends up kind of cancelling itself out anyway. Exactly. We get to meet Olivia, who would be the best girl in the game, but they decided to put a better one in that we haven't met yet. So. I'm thinking. Wait, who do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have, you will have no idea. I don't think you'd ever guess it. To be fair, I'll point her out when we get there. Don't worry. Milo is also awkward as hell here because uh, she decides she's going to leave, so she waves at you from like three foot away for some reason. <laughs> like, she just stood right at you, but waves at you as if you're in the distance. <laughs> um, I have an idea, maybe. Who's best? Maybe. Ah. Go on then, who? <laughs> I forgot the name. The, the wife? No, yes, no. correct. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, so we finally get free from cutscenes and then cutscenes. Yes. Get in the bag. In the bag, Nebby. Yeah, there's a, the bit immediately after this is quite a fun section of fights and movement. The next route that we're going to be uh, going through has a neat little section of movement. We've got to try and avoid a chef. But first, a fight. Oh no, first we get a candy. That's right. Mm. We are literally going to take candy from strangers. It's, it's an old grandma, it's okay. She would never hurt us. That's how they get you. <laughs> this is where you open up the rare candy and it's got razor blades in it, I'm telling you. <laughs> this is so soon. Actually... No, go on. <laughs> okay. This fight is actually part of or uh, a reason why we play Moon over Sun. Um... That's exactly what I was about to say as <laughs> well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we fight Xena instead of Dexio, I think it's, it's the guy called, and yeah, she's just right. way easier, I think. Yeah, so Dexio leads with a slow poke, which is obviously not great if you've got only water-type moves, or very weak fairy-type moves. But also, there's a the first Pokémon in the Grass Trial changes between versions, and it's way worse on Sun as well, because it's a Parasect. This fight is actually also a little bit better if you do the high XP route because you hit level 18 after the Delibird. So if it decides to deal a lot of damage with Preston and put you into a Torrent, there's a chance you can uh, one kill the Glaceon that's coming up. But that rarely ever happens, to be honest. So it's like you you don't really rely on that happening. Kind of glad it didn't get anywhere near because I have actually just died to this Glaceon's quick attack before because the Delibird did way too much damage to him. Really? I was like, okay. Yeah, I got that. I had like eight HP here, and I was like, I'm hoping that this tanks, and then it didn't. Wow. Yeah. I've never seen anyone die here. It, it must be pretty rare because like, um, present has a chance of doing like 120 damage, or 120 base power. Sorry. Uh, uh yeah. I think I've still got like two of those or something silly. Anyway, past Cena. She's gonna give us this thing that I think is something to do with Zygarde, but I don't know, we never actually use it, so I yeah, literally yeah. don't care. Uh, like 100 Zygarde cells across like the entire region. And then you can get like the different forms of Zygarde if you collect them. That sounds terrible. It's quite fun. <laughs> so this is the fun bit of movement. Um, we're actually going to do a little bit of a wait coming up to avoid a chef's movement cycle. So this guy, just going to wait a little bit. The repel always wears off there. And you just got to take a little bit of a wide berth around him so he doesn't see you. 
And then this is the second how fight that low experience would die to. We're going to beat this fight again there. Slightly more setup required for this one. You don't technically have to X speed, but it's nearly always better to X speed here because the Tora Cat has a Z move. And that's quite slow. <laughs> and also, if you use an extra setup move on the Pikachu, there's a chance it drops you into Torrent. However, I'm still 14 and 16 to kill the Pikachu without Torrent anyway. The Pika uses Electro Ball, so if we use X Speed, it also deals less damage when we outspeed. Mm -hmm. oh, no time for me, just hit this range, please. But yeah, once again, the same issue as before. It's just random to use Electro Ball, and if you don't get it, you just, especially in this fight, I feel like you can waste so much time and it just doesn't decide to use Electro Ball. That would have been a pretty terrible start for trying to die, because he quick attacked twice. Exactly. Well, doing all this extra high experience um, also makes this like early mid-game a lot more consistent in general. There's, um, there's a fairly rough range on the next totem fight coming up if you don't do high experience, and then... Um, yeah, it just makes like managing your HP around it a lot, lot harder. Whereas I know ex almost exactly how that fight's going to go on high experience, and I can that nice my B button wore out. <laughs> um, I can uh, heal before it accordingly. So we didn't mention it, but we got the first move that we will keep for the entire game well, really? after the scene fight. Oh yeah, encore, yeah. Very, very cool move. We will use a lot. Yes. Uh, the section of movement straight after this is annoying as hell. Um, I really want to avoid getting caught on either of the gate or the sign, if I can. Um, but we're, we're moving downwards and you don't get a lot of like vision below you. So you've kind of got to know your movement well. I didn't hit the gate at least. Can we avoid the sun? Yeah, that'll do. And you don't really want to slow down because that guy there that we just uh, went past will um, be in a slightly different spot and he's a trainer that you want to avoid. So. Uh, what's my max damage here? So I tank tackle at 17. I think at my speed, this will either be a speed tie or Null will straight out speed me. This is a slightly different change um, to the route compared to the... Because so the high experience route was made by Headbob, I think, or at least he wrote the note. Um, but I have changed this slightly. Uh, it used to say on certain speeds that you X speed on this fight, um, but I don't believe it's necessary at any point. Because if you do get outsped, you get Torrent earlier and then you can Aqua Jet. Watch me get proven wrong here and die. That'd be funny. I think it basically we meant to X speed when you don't outspeed too bad, I think. Oh, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen it not outspeed the Zubat. Yes. At least it says I have his dot up with what, 14 plus neutral. Yeah. Doesn't X speed, so if you have 13 or less, you should X speed. Not on more. <laughs> so I'm yeah. gonna get knocked to super low health here. Okay. Alright, so I have five now. Potion takes me to 25. Special defense is 24. It's doing 11 to 12 with a 13 max roll. This health is. <laughs> this is terrible. Mm. Um, if I potion once, I get 25 and that tanks 2, but that requires a growl, and even if he min rolls, it leaves me on 3, and 23 doesn't tank. Do I just potion twice here? 45 is a lot of health, though. Yeah, but it's, I don't know, 25 is pretty risky. <laughs> I would not yeah, no, I think it, I think it is double potion. The thing, the thing you can bear in mind is, is so like if I was on, I don't know, say I was on like eight health here, and I potion to twenty eight, I only tank two water guns. However, 
If I get two water guns on the first turn, I can then potion and I tank in the fight and I tank two more. So then that one potion gives me all the turns I need. Um, however, the HP I'm at now, if I even if I get like min rolls, I still have to potion twice in the fight, so that doesn't become worth it. So I think it's just better to potion twice before now. Which is a bit meh, because I've used more potions than I'd like, but... It's definitely better to go in with a safer HP right now, I think. Oh yeah, what the try. Let me up. We're gonna get Lapras as our Surf Pokemon, and it's basically the only time we'll actually use Lapras as well. Wait, you're right. We never Surf. <laughs> the, the only other time we do Surf, we get Sharpedo. So we don't use Lapras again. It's really funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that one. Yeah, the first two fights of... Uh... Well, this is not even technically the trial. The first two th things that we do here are wishy-washies. We don't have to do anything with them other than go into the fight so we can just run away. If you've got really bad speed, you can get out of sped by one of these. Which is quite funny. And then not be able to run away. But my speed's good enough that I don't believe that will happen. This trial is special in the in the in the way that you don't actually enter or start a trial until like the very end. She just fades you into like doing, doing things for her. Yeah. yeah. There's a max repel there I can pick up for safety, but I don't think I need it. My repel. Well, I don't need it right now, my repels have been fine, as long as I make sure I turn the last- or oh, I say no to the last repel coming up. Again, exactly the same scenario, I'm just going to run away from this dude. And then we're going to get a very, very good TM, considering how effectively early in the game it is. Um, TM Scold is just hanging out in the bottom right of this section, which is just a ridiculously powerful move for, like, a, what are we, level 20? Stab 80 power, chance to burn. It's just gonna, it's gonna hold us for a long time. Yep. Uh, I hate the surf section, sometimes you can't get on the ground. Gotta eat, eat it immediately. Goodbye, Graham. You will not be missed. No. I don't think we ever used it. So I don't want to go to full health here. Um, it will just take too long to get. We need to get Torrent for the final hit of the upcoming Totem fight. Um, and the thing I was kind of calculating earlier was how much damage I can take. So uh, the way the fight's going to go, we're going to... Special attack turn one, it's going to spawn an ally Pokemon, which we're going to kill immediately. Managed to press B, good job. And then we need to X special attack again and then have Torrent. Um, unfortunately, it's it's sort of a catch-22, because if you're at lower health, it's more likely to attack you. <laughs> but if you're at lower health, you don't want to see Water Gun on every turn. And if you're at higher health, you do want to see Water Gun on every turn, but it's more likely to growl you. So. There are certain HPs are like quite good because you'll either tank three but still be below half, or you'll tank two but be above half. I don't think that can ever actually happen. But yeah. Basically, I'm at such high health here. I really just want to see it water gun all the time. But it's quite likely we could see something like two growl straight away and then just have to encore the inevitable water gun. It's quite convenient. It's also raining for this fight, so yep. we deal. Even though it's like not very effective with deal a lot of damage with like double uh, like plus four rain step. Oh, water gun. Okay. Uh, can I afford to encore that now? Uh, no, because the the oh. other wishy washy is out. So no. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I need need to get rid of this because I don't know what this thing can do. But yeah, already the first fight was encore might be useful because we. Wanna set up uh, torrent? So if you don't get torrent right away, we can just encore and force torrent that way quite often. 
Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm going to have to encore once here to get time. But I'm just trying to avoid double growl. That's the important bit. Yeah. Good fight. No range here because we're on high experience. And we ideally always Oko the totem Pokemon. That's like the mechanic of how the call in feature oh, yeah. works. They always call in on this, like after the first turn. And then whenever they are below one third, uh, two third and one third HP, they will call in another poke. So we always set up the fights in a way that we one kill the totem Pokemon. That was. Um... That was a, a, a bit of a funky issue with that one run I had recently that was ended up being amazing uh, for the start, was that I did, because I ended up forced on the low experience route, it was a range for that totem wishy-washy, so I water gunned it like earlier so to like remove the range, but I crit the water gun and dropped it below two thirds so it summoned an Aloma Molar. <laughs> I was like, I've never seen this Pokemon before, don't yeah. know what to do with this. Thankfully it died, which was kind of surprising. That, that's why missing ranges on Totem Pokemon is so, so, so bad. Because not only do you not KO, it, if you usually we K kill the helpful po ally Pokemon first, and then just also uh, calls for another Pokemon, it's just so, so much time lost. Normally, the, the second ally Pokemon it calls is way worse than the initial one as well. Yeah. Like there, where that one calls just a regular wishy-washy, which is nothing. But then its second is an Aloma Molar, which is a lot more defensive. Ooh. Another rare candy detail there. Ah, we got on Lapras again. Ah. Oh yeah. No, you're just like <laughs> it. I mean, technically, it's still only used in that round. But yeah, that is the <laughs> the other moment where we use Lapras. Got to hook the right here to avoid the walking dude again. This is one of the, the rare random trainers that we have to find. We don't do a lot of these, honestly. It's mostly just like story beats trainers. It's a free fight. We just scald and win. And straight after this fight is where the routes deviate slightly again. Um, I'm going to be candying twice to 24. Whereas the low experience route wouldn't candy until just before the grass totem Pokemon where it candies four times to 28. So we can candy a little bit earlier here um, because we fought two extra how fights and we don't lose any experience overall. And what that will... Well, I'll probably talk about that a bit more once we get closer to that fight, but what that will allow us potentially to do, if we're lucky, is save a lot of time on the fire trial. Ironically, we get Bubble Beam at 24, but we don't need it now that we've got Scald. There's also another version of like high XP. It's, we went to level 24 here. You can also go to level 25. Mm -hmm. um, but as I mentioned earlier, if you like, you get less XP when you are like over leveled, and in general, like candies are worth less the earlier you use them. So we. If you go to level 25 here, you are missing a little bit of XP for later on. So uh, it's safer, obviously, to go to 25, but since you have to do some extra stuff later on, it's not really worth it to go yeah. to the extra level. It's a bit of a weird one. If you've got really bad special attack, 25 is pretty good. But um, you do. Yeah, it's just the basic one turn you have to do on, ironically, another Howl fight where normally we would just die. Um, and it's it's a a really long turn, and it's also kind of risky on bad special defense and bad speed. You can just die to it anyway, and then you just lost. Hopefully, I've still got torrent here, but I might have candy down. Oh, just beautiful. Yeah, so I only one shot this with torrent. Very nice. Frustratingly, this is a section where we would actually like to hold on to Torrent. Um, if we had Torrent for the Fire Trial, it would make it trivial. Um, but the game is going to force a heal on us after... Uh, what is it called? Battle Dome? Battle Royale? Whatever the hell it's called. The, the Leg Royale. 
Like Royale. Yeah. But first, more candies from the ground. The game is not done handing out candies. It's weird how close together all the like these three are. There's one just at the start of the water trial, one there, and then there's one in here as well. Like, really? can sometimes get screwed by NPCs here. I haven't had any load, that's quite nice. Mm. Yeah, we get forced into a... whatever this is called, where it's a four-way free-for-all. And the ideal scenario here is... I bop Tor... Oh, I, I don't die to Torakat, I kill Torakat, and the other two things just kind of like protect or do stuff that doesn't matter. Um, another good option is I die immediately and then the other two don't do anything significant either, but normally if you're dying it's because the Torakat used a Z-move, which is slow. Yeah, the, the fight ends once one of the Pokemon faints. Yeah. And you just want that as quickly as possible. You don't get any yeah, you don't get any XP, you don't lose money, you just want the fight to end as quickly as possible. And it also it'll still play out the final turn even if one person dies. So if uh, if you kill Torakat and die yourself, it's quite slow because you have to watch yeah. the death animations a bit. This song's a bit of a bop, though. I think it's called Battle Royale, actually. Not Dome Royale. The, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think Battle Royale. Is wrong. The reason why we don't it's called the. Uh, the, the 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 dog <laughs> I forgot the name. Tidal. Uh, no, the other one, the rock one, rock rough. Oh yeah, but it's rock rough. Yeah. Because it has protect. Also, this lags like hell. Yes. I z moved. Okay, buddy. For what purpose? That's yeah. Look at the damage. A whole quarter. <laughs> what an asshole. That would have been pretty good if, uh, if Torakat had just fire fanged or something instead of that. Well, okay, buddy. You go off. You have your moment in the spotlight. Uh... Uh, I mentioned before about how some of the fights we'd like to save for, but they're embedded so deep that it's kind of not worth it. The fire totem Pokemon is kind of that. It's a little difficult to die to the fight, but it is possible if you end up in uh, certain crappy scenarios. Um, but we have to do the entire totem, like the entire, oh, I almost got screwed by the NPC. Um, like the entire totem fire trial is effectively one long cutscene with battles in between. So there's no opportunity to save like well the the nearest opportunity to save is like three fights before. That's fighting. So we're gonna attach Waterium Z for obvious reasons. It's not gonna be on for very long. Uh, we actually don't use just because of how slow Z moves are to sit through. The uh, the animation like the animation when Torakat used it earlier wasn't too bad because it was just Horror cat, but when we use a Z move, it uses our NPC or a character as well. I think they changed it for Usum, but in this game you always get your own anima animation as well. It's slightly faster if you have the opportunity. It is like ever so slightly faster to just use two normal turns than it is to use one Z move turn. Yeah. You're generally only going to use it if uh, it like guarantees a one shot or for safety. Uh, so this trial just involves spot the difference, but it's really easy. This Marowak is completely trivial. Uh, but the Magmar coming up after this 
will outspeed us. We one shot it, but it outspeeds us and it has a uh, smoke screen. So that can spiral a little bit. But it also will just kind of use any of its four moves. And fire spin, clear smog, and faint attack are all fine. Yeah. This is another advantage of the high experience as well, is that this magma is a range. And especially on bad special attacks, it's a bad range. And you don't really want to rely on Aqua Jet to finish it off either, because it has magma body. But whatever the one is that burns. Burn? I, I forgot, yeah. Burn? I thought it was burn body. No, but that sounds stupid. <laughs> uh, let me look it up. Magma armor, maybe? Flame, flame body. Thank you, John. Flame body, yeah. <laughs> yeah there we go. Uh, I think magma armor is the thing, but it's not the, it's not the ability that I'm actually thinking of. Anyway, don't smoke screen me, please. Or if I do, just hit anyway. Yeah. That's the like the best option, but it's really rare. Cool. Right, and so the big the big benefit of doing early experience is, is in this totem fight coming up. Um being a well if you go to level 25, the range is basically guaranteed on all but terrible special attack. Um and by the range, I mean one-shotting the Salazzle before it sends out any ally Pokemon or whatever. And um, the fight is completely doable if you don't one-shot it and the ally Pokemon comes out. But because double fights in this game lag like hell, it's quite slow. By doing level 24, though, I make it a range. Um, and at this special attack, what am I at? 12? It's 12 and 16, so this range is 75%. If I miss it, I just lose, like, 40 seconds. So ideally, we don't. The frustrating yeah, thing about this uh, this totem Pokemon is it, it boosts its special defense right at the start. Yeah. Go on, sorry, I interrupted you. No, yeah, that that's the reason why level 25 is so good. It's just yeah. you always have that safety and the, yeah. the standard route you actually can die here if you get toxic turn one. With yeah. torment you're usually safe, but if you get toxic, then you yeah, it has like the Salando. Ended. Slender, uh, yeah. yeah, with Venoshock and it deals a lot of damage actually. So Record uh, has a really because Record does the low experience round, it has a really terrible fight here. Like yeah. it really struggles and has to heal a lot. If you get torment it's usually free, but if you don't it can you can actually die here, which is kind of uh, silly since it's a fire trial. So for reference, and bearing in mind this is a marathon run, I just saved 50 seconds over record. But it's balanced out by the fact that I will, it, like, doing this route loses a bit of time against the low experience route in the first two splits. Or, yeah, like, the, the first two sections, anyway. Yeah. Um, because you have to fight how, and fighting how is generally slower, but not by much. Ooh. Now we get our Bly Pokemon. And now we're going to go to the most fun section of the game. As a water type Pokemon, we are not a fan of grass types, so let's go do the grass trial. Great, great time. So I'm deliberately not getting on Taurus for that section just because the repel's gonna wear off anyway, and it's such a short section to run. It's slightly faster to do it with Tor without Taurus than with. I think it's just so funny that you don't even go through the tunnel yourself, you just enter the tunnel and you <laughs> pop out of it at the end. Yep. Yeah. At the end by this very not suspicious guy. Res was just too hot to keep in Gen 5. People loved him too much for some reason. I have no idea why people like Colores, to be honest. He just looks like a no. I can't say that. <laughs> looks like a more. Very important right, to that say. Sign. Yeah. That section of movement sucks because that sign in the NPC always gets me. 
Uh, so, right, so... We're gonna fight three, like, regular encounters before the totem Pokemon here. The first one is a Shenotic, uh, and we only have Water-type moves, um, which kind of blows. So the Shenotic, we're gonna have to special attack, X special attack on and scold it either two or three times. Should I save for the Shenotic, do you think? No, it's really, it doesn't do enough damage, no, I don't think that matters. It can just be a very slow fight. Yeah. I don't know, I forgot how much worse it is when you don't have uh, IXP, but generally it's not that bad if you get like ingrain. Ingrain turn one fine. is brilliant, because you can just encore and go. Little sketch. Don't hate that. It's not sleep powder anyway. Uh, if you want to mega drain me, oh okay, that works. Do I just go here? No, I'm gonna play play it safe. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm two shotting anyway from here, so we'll just we'll just lock it into that and not stress. Agree. So that's not too bad at all. So this thing has ingrained mega drain, astonish, and sleep powder. You can just get locked into Sleep Powder. Um, if you get it, you kind of have to heal it off, but then you can just Sleep Powder again. And you've only got two awakenings, so... It can just blow as a fight. That was pretty good, overall. Anything where you don't have to heal and you don't get put to sleep, you're definitely going to take. These Fromantises are a lot nicer. Um, they do do decent damage with Leafage and Razor Leaf. Um, I'll easily tank with the HP that I'm on at the moment. I might have to heal if this one wants to do that. And we two shot with Skulls, so... I'm wondering, maybe you could have actually Z moved on the second turn on Shenotic to KO instead of Encore and then to KO. Uh, yes. Maybe. I think if we were doing record attempts, attempts I think the optimal play there was to just press Scold twice. But yeah. I kind of got locked into that mentally, and then I was like, no, it's a marathon, let's play it safe and Encore this <laughs> one here. But yeah, I think instead of that, you are right, the Z move would have probably killed. Anyway, it's fine. Alive is the important thing. Exactly. We need to pick um, up some ingredients here. We didn't mention that. That's the lore here. Yeah. We have to fight all the Pokémon that are protecting the ingredients. That's kind of a safety sa uh, safety potion that I've just done. I don't know that I would have died at 26. Um, but I'm kind of just playing that a lot safer. And I'm hoping that he's going to do a little bit of damage here. Um, for the upcoming Houghton Fry, but there is a 50-50 chance that it doesn't. I don't think it's the end of the world though, because my defense is terrible. Which is actually quite good for the Totem fight coming up. Yeah. Once again, the stats are random, so you can't really know how much damage we take. And we double up to exactly level 26, and now we are back aligned with the standard route. Yes, we line up exactly with... Uh, High, uh, low experience again. Low experience uses four candies right here. We use two candies because we used two earlier. But that just shows how much how hard this fight is. Like the normal route uses four candies in one go, <laughs> and then it's still I, not great. I should have just delayed that so that I could have saved closer to uh, to the totem fight. Anyway, it's fine. Ooh. Uh, last item here. Don't get any fight so. We're allowed a, a brief break before we go into the token fight. Don't know how close I can get to this, so I'll just save here. Because this cutscene just activates automatically. Very, very non suspicious cutscene. Yes. Alright, so we're going to go against a Totem Laurentis. Um, this thing has Solar Blade, which is the physical equivalent of Solar Beam. And it also has a power, is it a power gen? Whatever the item is that immediately charges it up. Um, we straight up die to that. Like, we're just dead, turn one, unless we X defend. So this fight is gonna go X defend. It's gonna call out an ally Trumbeak that we ideally need to be in Torrent to guarantee a kill on. Um, although I have a 50%, I have good enough special attack that it's a 50% range if I don't get Torrent. Um, but there's gonna be a lot of HP management in this fight. I need Torrent for the final hit on Laurentis. And yeah, there's just a lot going on in this fight. It will nearly always Solar Blade. 
However, it has Razor Leaf, and it will... Even if Razor Leaf kills, it should normally Solar Blade. However, if it doesn't, and it Razor Leaves, I'm just dead. Yes. And you can't really do anything about that. I um, can't play around it at all. It just... Spray. It doesn't happen. Yep. It's, it's, a bit of a, it's, it's kind of a good thing that the AI does that, because if it did always just Razor Leaf over the two when it killed, this fight would be fucking impossible. Yeah. Yeah, and quite of course, to tank. of course, any crit is just super dead. That is torrent, at least. Do you, I think do I you have speed jumping? Yes. So that's another aspect of this fight as well. If you've got worse speed, you... Oh, no, I don't. Do I? I don't know. We're about to find out. Maybe, maybe speed I tank. Fire. Yeah, I tank either which way, so it doesn't matter. I did. Okay. Yeah. Zombie so gets want... supersonic or confuse ray. Quite annoying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You want your health to be at a level where you get Torrent either off of just Lorantis or Lorantis and Trumbi if you don't outspeed. I'm liking these rolls so far. Yeah. So we have to double heal that. It Razor Leafed me, okay. Um, uh, I think that's fine. Should be. Razor Leafed me no. again. What is um, happening? That's what is happening? not Torrent. No. If that was Torrent? This is the weirdest fight I've ever done. Okay, right, I think uh, this is fine. Because I potion potion. here, yeah. that will yeah, be Torrent, yeah. almost guaranteed. Right, just dodge the Razor Leaf now. Three in one fight would be silly. Yes, okay, cool. So we win! <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ! We that was are the torn. messiest Lorantis fight I've ever seen. We are in Torrent, so that's equivalent of being at plus four uh, special attack. You can also just heal again, set up another X special, and do it, and then fail if you don't get torrent or like don't really have a torrent set up. Uh, yeah, but the reason why we don't like really low special attacks as well is starts from this point in the run because uh, so like the special attack I got on the initial Poplia that I reset went from 12 to 13, so that would have had a range on that Lorantis. I could have gotten through all of that fight and then just missed the range and my run was dead. You just have to reset. Yeah, it summons a cast form. Yeah. And yeah, and not not good. <laughs> yeah, that is the that's the worst the worst fight in the run? I don't think Ghost Trial is worse than this, is it? It's close, but I don't know, I, I think I'm just traumat traumatized by Emily and Raticate. Oh yeah, it might be Emily, to be fair. Yeah. Like the the yeah, just Terrible, like, I don't know, I I think my win rate on Durantus is pretty good, so it might be, I'm biased, probably. I tend to get crit a lot on that fight, which I'm yeah. uh, not a fan of. I feel like this is the one I've died the most in, but anyway. Once you get past this fight, you do tend to be a lot more comfortable in saying that it's a run, right? Yes. Um, there's a few fights still coming that can definitely cause issues, but it becomes a lot safer after that fight. The worst bit after this is the ghost run. What health did I leave on? I not know. It's like very low. It's like 15 or something. Yeah, it was above 10 though, wasn't it? Yeah, 10 to 15, something like that. I don't need to heal for smog. That's the only thing I was worried about. I don't think I have any potions left either, so I don't have a choice. I was at 12, thank you. Yeah, that'll be fine. I do die to uh, smog poison. But um, it won't, as much as it would kill, as stupid as it sounds, as much as it would kill a record attempt, it won't actually kill this run because Al can win the fight. It just takes him like 15 turns to do it. little movement optimizations all over this place. Want to mash... See, I opened that door from really far away. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds. Uh, again, mashing for these buttons. And just knowing your lines as well. Like, uh, knowing the angles you need to hold when you walk out of buildings and stuff. Because it's below you and you can't see. Also, here's Besko. It's her. Unfortunately, she married Kikui. I have been cooked by Kikui. <laughs> Unfortunate news. I mean, I would marry Kukui if I had to. <laughs> Not a bad catch.
How is this run going compared to PB? I'm plus three minutes, but bearing in mind I had like a two minute reset to reload or to load in the backup popio, that's really good. I'm very happy with this so far for a marathon run. I'm yeah, only two minutes behind record, although record is, even by head bob submission, is terrible at the start and amazing at the end game. But yeah, I'm really happy with the, the pace of this so far. I haven't been screwed by any of the big things. Yeah, not buying is very fast, usually. Yes. A lot of the, the like, terrible time losses in a, like, a marathon run for this are going to come from early game deaths. Like, if I died to fire trial, that would be horrific. That'd probably lose me a straight 10 minutes or something, so... Hmm. I wouldn't say that, yeah. <laughs> like, there's three hours of execution for me to mess up, yeah. This is a, a very punishing game for messing up execution. That's probably the, the one thing for the, like, that doesn't make this a particularly beginner friendly run, is that one mistake can spiral so quickly. Yeah. Like, all the trainers are like on, on the cycle, and if you mess up, all the other trails will also mess up all the other passes, usually. Let's, yeah. Yeah, there's some fun passes coming up um, in the graveyard section where if I, if I like bonk, I'm going to throw the timing off for a, a walker pass. I think she's a walker. She's definitely a spinner at least. Or a rotation. Yeah, she's, like, she's like, walks and then she looks around. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we've got to survive this fight first. Um, coming in with Torrent is ideal because we just get rid of the, the, uh, the Fromantis immediately. But the Slandic can out well does outspeed and it can kill me with uh, smog poison. It's only what what estimate did I give for this? Five fifteen. Oh, I'm well on pace to beat that at the moment. <laughs> but there's still like a lot. But of there's so there. much of the run there. Like there's there's a lot of pace can be decided by. Uh, like the, the entire Poisonium split, the Aether Foundation can just be slow through no fault of your own. Yeah. I think I got a sweet scent from Slander, which is really good. And I didn't get quick attack from the Pikachu. That is like an ideal fight. That was lovely. Oh, also, there is a, there's a couple of fights towards the end of the run where if I mess up on execution, it will freeze my 3DS. And then I quit life because there's no way of recovering that. <laughs> yep. Right, we don't jump on um, Tauros here because this movement needs to go behind this trainer and Tauros is too fat and doesn't fit. Also, oh, I hate this theme. This is the only bit of the OST that I really don't like. The thing I don't hear it. <laughs> Okay, Taurus isn't fat, he's stocky. He's a wide boy. Wait, no that way. Thick. I'm I'm listening to a full OST video on YouTube right now, and I'm actually at Pony Pony City as well right now. I how did I talk to that kid? I don't I don't know how that happened. I just talked to a kid that told me I was looking good. I'm actually listening to this theme as well. What a surprise. <laughs> I don't. This is the only theme I don't think I like. I don't mind it. It's not great, but it's okay. And those passes a friend and gives us a max potion. That was it. We've also just bought a load of herbs. So we have all of our heal powders for the rest of the run. And energy roots that will keep us going for a, a good while. 
Although, actually, it's quite funny that we buy, like, energy roots here. An ideal run will just never use those. I and hate NPCs. I hate NPCs. Let me out. Let me oh, out. Wait, the repel might be an issue, no, I think. And no, it's not. It's fine. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, this last repel lasts... Because you, you run nearly half of the way to the hotel before it wears out. So it's oh, yeah, true. It's just the NPCs suck. Yeah. So this is the lady that you want to dodge, and if you do your movement perfectly, she turns around right as you pass her. That was very nice. Get, get uh, spell tag. Yeah, spell tag's going to come up a lot later, but we do need it now. Do I have good enough speed? 20? No, I don't. I have to Z-move this Raticate, unfortunately. It outspeeds and it has Hyperfang. So if you, out if, uh, if you have good enough speed that you outspeed it, it's worth just scolding twice. But because it outspeeds and there's a risk of crits and uh, flinches and stuff, it's just better for us to Z scold here. That's why I love that cutscene because of this. It keeps cutting to the slowpoke because it's just saying its name over and over again. It's like serious stuff going on and it just gets interrupted by it. No. Don't flinch me. You're a douche. Wait. I thought not we right. I thought we do that so that we can't get flinched. What? I thought we you can't get flinched when you see move. No, you definitely can get flinched, but you do it in because like if I press what well, I mean I suppose it doesn't really matter, but yeah. You can if I scold turn one and then get flinched twice, yeah. turn yeah. two, I'm screwed. Uh, I have yeah. to heal here. I don't want to go into <laughs> um what's she called? Plumeria. Plumeria, yeah. I don't want to go into it with 10 HP. Yeah, makes sense. I'm, I might just potion though, because I, don't, I might be able to dodge Confuse Ray. Do you have a potion? I thought you said you don't have any potions I left. might not have any potions left, that's a good shout. I don't know if I used the last one or not. I'm gonna find out. I have one. I didn't select it. There we go. I have two. Okay. I lied to the people. Uh, so this is kind of just testing something out. I've never had this scenario before. This might not be a good idea, but I have a feeling that the AI is going to be more likely to hit me when I'm at low health, because this Golbat normally just leads Confuser. Right? Um, but if it hits me turn one, I'll hit it with a Torrent Scold, and then I'll just be able to finish everything off with Torrent Aqua Jet. Yeah, but my plan only works here if I don't get Confuser. Right? If I do get Confuser, right? we're in trouble. Early. Uh, we are and we aren't. I mean, if I get confused right and I hit myself, I just heal it. Exactly. I basically spread misinformation on the internet. Exactly. Please just air cut to me, you smile. Don't crit ideally. Ah, well, my theory didn't work. Oh, I did crit. Alright, watch this. Oh. Okay, okay, I'll watch it. Ah, no, I'm dead. Oh no, oh no. Am I dead? I'm not dead. He didn't kill me. Oh my god. Guys. Well, we're just gonna. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna mess around anymore. I'm very sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Uh, dying there would have been an issue. Also, confusion is like one in three to hit myself, by the way. And I'm two for two. Come on, buddy. Oh, well, three. You hit the first turn. Oh, true, yeah. Yeah, that was a horrific fight. <laughs> I'm just very glad it didn't, like, properly punish me and kill me. Um... What would have happened if I died there? Where would I have gone? I guess I would have uh, flown back, but... Yeah, I remember my... PB before my current PB, I was like... Back to back runs, I think. And my in that run I died super merry and I had to run like all the way back and lost two minutes or something. Yeah. Check out Burnett's face just as she walks off the screen here, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why that one that one makes me laugh and then there's a cutscene straight after this fight that also makes me laugh as well. Yeah. Uh, Alright, we've got the the Olivia fight, which is she's got rock type, so it's like free. As long as I don't get crit and a bad situation. The main thing here is to try and get Torrent so that we can avoid Z moving the last Pokemon.
bit of a weird scenario on the lead nose pass. It's nearly always going to thunder wave. If it paralyzes us and we don't burn it, we're actually only going to X speed rather than heal the paralysis. What was the reason for that again? I forgot. Um, I honestly don't know. <laughs> sure, I was. I don't remember why we do it this this order. I think it's because. Uh, I think it might, oh. it might be because Spark can paralyze again. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. And we oh, need to yeah. set up an X speed anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So we get rid of it and then we heal the paralysis here. Whereas if you burn it, um, it Olivia will heal the burn, so you have a turn to heal the paralysis as well, and then you can just X speed here. So this thing has Sturdy, so we'll just break Sturdy with Aqua Jet. I have Torrent, so this fight is free now. Yeah, it usually ends up that way naturally, that you just end up with Torrent with the normal setup. Yeah. So... Yeah, I had a really weird fight recently where it missed Thunder Wave and I burned with Scald. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what the correct play is here. I mean, yeah, you can always Encore the Boulder for headbutt yeah. damage. If you really right. want to take more damage, it kind of it kind of works out pretty even because if you go into like and rock and you don't have torrent, you can just Z move. Yeah, so it's not like it's a uh, terrible either which way. Ooh. That was a pretty bad split. I wonder why. But yeah, from the right. Uh, <laughs> Funny bit of cutscene here where Olivia's going to start flexing to show you the the Z-move pose, and then it's going to cut to Lily, who's just enjoying it a bit too much. Like, Lily loves this shit. Yeah, it's uh, it's heavy cutscene time for the next ten minutes or so. Mm. Now that we're done with Olivia, we're going to go. We're going to go to a hotel, and then we're going to go to Aether Foundation, and then we're going to go to the third island, and that is going to take a little bit. for a little while now. And we just run straight into the hotel with our towers. Nobody cares. <laughs> we get to meet Faber, who is resident asshole of the Sun Moon universe. That's not a nice word to say. It's not. Tell me I'm wrong, man. Yeah, he, he has the funny glasses, though. He does have the funny glasses. I do quite like all of the uh, like the Aether character designs. Yeah. Owl's face here is great as well. <laughs> I have to amuse myself with these cutscenes because there's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah we're we're coping. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're going to get a, a tour of the floating paradise that we're going to fight our way through very shortly. As part That's, of the storm. You're not supposed to spoil that. That's big. Oh, it's going to happen twist. in like an hour, brother. Nobody it's, expects it's, that. It's really weird how close together this is, actually. Because it's like, it's the start of the third island that you get introduced to this place, and it's the end of the third island where you just like take it on. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. okay. I suppose the third island's supposed to be like the biggest one of the four. Probably supposed to spend a lot more time than we actually do there. Wait, is it the biggest? I thought there are only two trials. 
It's, yeah, there's only two trials, but I mean, in terms of like exploration and stuff, we skip a lot of optional content on the third island. I guess you're I know right. there's, there's kind of three trials. Because, I mean, well, there's not really a oh, trial okay. for, the, for the dark, but there is the... There is the... Buck. Yeah. Yeah. Why does everybody look so happy in this suspicious lab? Exactly. That was my second pick when you said... A wick would be a good pick. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised Lusamine didn't come up in that either. She is absolutely crazy in this game, I guess. <laughs> yeah. To the point where they tried to kind of wreck on it in uh, Ultra Sun Moon, make her a little bit less nuts. What's the point in this game where this one's like, your kids are gonna die, and she just goes, eh? <laughs> uh, okay. I don't care. They're not beautiful. I don't care. little bit of control here where we have to run around and find Lusamina. I hate this section of running, I always seem to catch one of the walls. I love the... Uh, Corsal? Corsal, yeah. Just looks so happy. Right, never mind, I did that really well. There is going to be a Nihilago fight coming up. Um, it's it's one where we don't really care what happens. We either run away or we die, ideally, as quickly as possible. Um, you can kill it fairly quickly because it is a rock type, but for whatever reason, the experience yield is like shunted way down for some strange choice you get like 200 experience or rather than the like thousand that you should get or whatever here because it is like a it's like it's not a legendary pokemon but it's kind of legendary and it's also a few levels higher than you yeah it's just not worth killing at all and it's a real shame it isn't because the level 25 strats would probably be faster overall um, if this gave you the right amount of experience, because you'd kill this instead of the house right you. Usually you run away on like the second or third try. Yes. Yeah. I've had a couple of first turn runaways recently, and both of them were on like 30 neutral speed. It was quite surprising. But this thing is fairly fast, so running away inst instantly is quite rare. Does speed even matter, really, if you are slower anyway, if, if you're like a little bit faster? Does it change the odds? I believe so, but I don't I don't imagine it's like one IV is necessarily going to make a difference. It's probably like thresholds, if you know what I mean. Like um, a bit like Electro Ball damage, where like the difference between 29 and 30 is going to be nothing, but there's probably a point somewhere between 20 and 30 where it rolls over to better damage. Yeah. Question mark, question mark. That's another good thing. Oh, it's actually low level. Okay, second turn's fine. Yeah, can't really complain. Nope. Really, all we came here for was to to run away from a Pokemon. Yes, that takes eight minutes. <laughs> yeah. 
I also find this bit quite funny as well, where Wick's like, uh, oh, I'm going to give you guys some gifts. You seem like an idiot, so you can have food. <laughs> but you seem a bit smarter, so you can have a TM. Yeah, very fair. This is actually really useful, getting psychic. <laughs> psychic, uh, yeah, it's kind of busted for where we are in the game as well. Yeah. Uh, scene time. We're off to the next island, so we get a, a minute break. I don't have to mash, and I can rest my poor thumbs. I'm actually gonna step away for a sec. No worries. This is a good time for anybody that wants to take a break to go take one. In case you're worried about missing the good cutscene content. And at the start of this island, we're going to get another non-optional how fight. Um, this is the only one where we're always going to die. Like, it doesn't matter what route you're doing. Uh, this fight is way too hard to win. And you don't need the experience, and it would take way too long. Um, at this point, how has got both a Lowland Raichu and the Leafeon. So, the matchup is pretty bad. If we were doing level 25 strats, um, you would have to Z-move the Raichu, which would kill it, but it does take a long, a fair bit of time. But you'd need the, the bit of extra experience. Uh, you generally get two-shot here, unless I, unless you've got like bad special defense and speed, Electro Ball can one-shot you. But you're generally just going to get two-shot. So. And on really, really good special defense, you can sometimes get three-shot, which is obviously worse. My special defense is fine, but it's not amazing. So. Uh, that is a range. You rolled 40 to 42, so... Yeah, go on. Psychic's probably the worst one to see. It does the least damage. Well, it's only the worst one if uh, it doesn't get the two-shot. It's actually the best if it does, because you don't get the super effective two -shot. Now we get to play the game again. Just kidding. Psych. More cutscenes. So we do need to put a repel on here just for this section. I always do that. We use the last egg speed. <laughs> we can't use Tauros in this section either. Apparently we respect the sanctity of these gardens too much. So. Giving that trainer a wide berth so that she doesn't catch me. I don't know how far away she can see you, but I always, uh, I always stay as far away as I can from her. Probably too Hello. cautious, but hey. Hello. I... Oh, that's really bad. Oh, did you reapply? I reapplied. Um, oh. <laughs> Alright, I know, I know where to save the other one, at least. That's dumb, though. That's, uh... Really annoying mistake. I just thought the text box hadn't advanced, so I tried to mash A for the one before and got A on this one. I can't save it entirely. I will have to YOLO a little bit of grass. Alright, how? That's fine. I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of alternative movement later on, I think. YOLO a little bit of grass. It'd be really. My hubris for not picking up the safety max repel. Yep. Who knows? I might actually end up being repelled for the grass in the Fero route now, which uh, is not terrible. Ah, well, yeah, I've, I had to think where it comes up, but I think I know, I remember. Oh, it's been a while. I actually think about the best. I don't want to hit. There is a really good backup for this if you do run accidentally use an extra repel, um, but it involves some good timing with a, a moving trainer that I haven't done in a while. 
Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bother doing that or not. Although, I suppose... Yeah, I might do, because... Uh, I suppose if I hit him, it's a very easy fight. Oh, um, why I didn't last even remotely long enough. <laughs> Nowhere near the fear of that. Of our mind again. Yes, a lot of at nothingness happening. <laughs> once we're once we're done with this library, though, we get a whole section of uh, of yeah. gameplay. We get to treat yeah. ourselves. Once again, the game gives me, like, three steps to take, and then shunts me into another cutscene. It's like, just, just move me up there, dude. I don't need to play that bit. But what if you want to get fly? I think I'd rather die. Okay, that's uh, very drastic, but... <laughs> I think at least you get fly at the bottom. From the guy there, in uh, Usum you get get it. Some some guy in the bottom floor gives it to you. I don't, they, I don't understand why they would like take TMs out of the game, but then still leave the move fly. <laughs> it's just awful. Not even well, that we, powerful. It's a two-turn windup. We need it in Usum, so yeah, yeah. yeah what well, if you need to fly? I don't remember which, but use it like three or four times. And yeah, it's pretty bad when you miss. <laughs> Important movement here to dodge a lot of stuff. So these trees at the top of the route have wild Fero in them that dart out at you if you get too close. You've also got to dodge all the trainers on the route as well. And also we run through that grass with no repel up. Um, and there are some scary Pokemon. In that grass you can get Feroes again, you can get Ledians and they all outspeed you. Not getting an encounter is very good. These grunts are pretty scary. Yeah, I hate these. I'm actually just gonna Z-move. I think both of them. Yeah. It's it's the it's not the slowest option overall. It's faster than getting trolled, but. Yeah. It's like this guy has Confuse Ray and um, Poison Fang, which can then like give you toxic poison, and then the Raticate straight afterwards has Crunch, which does like 40% damage. And also, Crunch can drop your defense. So if you don't like Z move it, and you get Crunch defense drop, you're just dead. You can't like you can't even heal it out. He just kills you in two from there. So even though I've taken no damage right now, and I had that's like a really clean goal back throw, I'm still gonna Z move this because if I get Crunch defense drop turn one, I'm just dead. Which is admittedly rare, but it's such a nightmare to have to come back here. Yeah. Mm. Considering these are just run fights. But it's because we're um, we're not under leveled at this point, but because we're getting towards the end of like the Briome section, we're not at Primarina yet. You you kind of understand at this point. Yeah. Not, not a strong Pokemon, sadly. Or not a really strong Pokemon. Yep. Well, we hit 31 there, and that's with good timing, because we're about to pick up one more candy, and candy to 33. I always thought it's weird that, yeah. I always thought it's weird that you have to talk to the like 
bus stop and not to <laughs> the Kui. Yeah. I just thought it was weird as well that they decided to add a bus here rather than just have it be a, a route that you can travel up. Yeah, that as well. A bit of a strange cutscene here as well. Right. So it's a bit unusual that the, the rest of this is talking, but this one bit of cutscene is actually a cutscene. Oh, I think it looks pretty cool to like see the mountain. It does, yeah. Uh -huh. We have to go south here a little bit to go pick up another candy. And there is a trainer that kind of does this cycle of stretching. And if she's bent down, she can see you from behind. Um, so we have to time the pass a little bit. It's nothing difficult, you've just got to wait a little bit on the first pass and go on the second. So there she is. So as long as she's stood up, she can't see you. And then... Oops. There we go. As long as we're not too slow here, we can just go straight away. Why? I hate touchscreen controls, dude. Yeah, it happens way too often that you pass and it registers as if you, like, scrolled. Yeah. Happens so very often to me as well. Candy twice there, and that gets us to 33, and we'll evolve at level 34, which is the level we're going to get on this fight. Um, it's actually really important to HP manage here. We need Torrent for the end of the Electric Trial, and the only opportunities to get it are off this fight, and then if we need a little bit of damage, we can get it off of the first Pokemon in the Trial as well. But we really want to leave this fight with Torrent if we can. Unfortunately, the last Pokemon in his team has Sucker Punch. Which is an issue. And you also give a lot of Pokemon in this fight turns. So the, the damage you actually take can be really varied. Also, my defense is quite bad. Will it just raise its attack? That's terrible. I'm just going to do way more damage than I would normally expect it to. Mm. I'm probably going to have to heal on Dugtria. I don't know how best to do it. Well, unless Metang's a bro and he hits me with Bullet Punch here, that's good, and then doesn't Bullet Punch the next turn. Nice! Okay, so my HP is fine now. Cool. Uh, I actually want Sucker Punch because it does the most damage. But as long as it doesn't miss. This is way too high health for you to miss with anything. Okay. Mm, it's kind of high, but I think I can take one hit and get into Torrent. Yeah. Yeah, I need to be 19 or less. So I think this is fine. Yeah, basically, what the idea is we want to set up low Torrent on Brion before we evolve. Uh, on. Like, we want to go, go as low as possible on Mulain and then on the first Pokemon on the trial. And then we just keep the Torrent for the entire trial and want to KO everything. Pick up a Comet Shard here, because that's big sh money. Yes. We're going to lie to this kid's face when he asks us, asks us if we like Festival Plaza. I'm like, yeah, totally do. Totally been there before. <laughs> Act as if you care. So this is another trial where you're just answering questions and fighting Pokemon when you answer them. The funny part is if you answer incorrectly, don't have to fight an extra Pokemon or anything. No, uh, so for class is just getting electrocuted. <laughs> That's not that bad to answer incorrectly. Yeah, so I need 19 or less here. Yeah. My script's good. Nice. Nice. So this thing does have a uh, string shot, I think it is. Yeah. Which can become a bit stressful, because then it also outspeeds you. Yeah. yeah, but we have Aqua Jets, uh, I think. Yeah. Aqua Jet always carries, but I'm not sure. Maybe with Torrent, yeah. 
I mean, you can always water gun turn one and then drop the kill. Yeah, then if you crit, <laughs> you're ruined. Yeah, anyway. That's water gun crit kill. Uh, possibly not. Yeah, you're making me question it now. I feel like it. Oh, no, because crits are only 1.5, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, we've got Primarina. Primarina is much better. We now do big damage. We instantly get really good moves as well. Um, it's a sparkling aria that we're going to get, we're going to keep for the rest of the run. This is a huge damage water type attack that hits multiple opponents. It's basically Surf, but yeah. Surf is not, no, no, no longer in the game. And as soon as we have access to our bag again, we're going to teach, teach Psychic, which is another really good move that we'll keep till the, rend S till the end of the run, sorry. And we're also fa uh, fairy top now. Yep. And Primarina's cry is way better as well. I never paid attention to it. It's well, like I a trust whistly you. sound. Yeah. I trust your judgement. Oh, we have exactly torn. Tom. <laughs> exactly. It's just free. And it's really important that you get that torn on the first scrub in because, like, from now on they have uh, electric type and then they, they just deal way too much damage to you. You have to get it on that group. So if you end up leaving my lane on way too, too high health, it can be very slow. Unnecessary crit. This is also another point in the game where not having terrible special attack is important. Um, basically, whatever range we had on Lorantis, if we had bad special attack, we have exactly the same range on this totem Pokemon as well. So, oh, you bad I... special attacks suck. I never realized that it's exactly the same. Yep. Well, it is on this route. Well, I suppose yeah. it would be the same on Love Experience because it's the same for those two fights, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're, this is a guaranteed roll. Um, fours. It's only when you get down to the like the 20 and less neutral special attacks that this is a range. Yeah, you really need really bad special attack, even with like 15 to 20, it's still a 15 and 16, which is. Uh, should be good enough, but if you miss it, you just die. Vigavolt's not known for its special defense, so we don't have to deal with any of its ally Pokemon or anything. Not that even if it did get an opportunity to bring out ally Pokemon, it would matter too much now because Sparkling Aria hits both, so. It's very nice. Moin Lane's legs uh, glitch into the table there in this cutscene. Never, never saw that. That table is not always there. Sometimes that meteorite is there and sometimes it isn't. And I don't know what causes it. But interesting. Yeah. They didn't account for it in this cutscene, so he just walks through it. And it's always exciting getting past this trial because it means we get to hear the best theme in the game. Coming yes. up shortly. straight after this cutscene to skip a turning animation by not running straight away. 
Ta-da! It doesn't look like anything. <laughs> Without pointing it out, it just looks like I turned around. That is slightly faster. The flyback. We've almost hit uh, final form Primarina here. We're gonna have three of our four final moves after this uh, this bag. Scald is now unfortunately useless because Spartan Ari just completely outranks it. So need a heal to fall. This is where the heals start really getting used. Um, the game suddenly runs out of free heals for you. We do a long section here with no freebies. Why does Moylane have the mask there? Uh, apparently the professor dropped it when you when you were fighting Moylane, because the professor's there for that cutscene. Or for that fight, sorry, and then in the cutscene afterwards. Because Moylane makes some jab about calling the professor the, the mast royal. The absolute king who is Guzma has arrived. He has the best theme in the game. He has the best type. Who is best type specialist? Like Guzma's is just great, other than his general outfit and attitude. <laughs> who cares about that? <laughs> yes. My man loves bug types. What a champion! Aspire to be Guzma, exactly. This theme is a bot. If we get Psychic Special Defense drop here, we could do an interesting version of this fight. It never happens, I swear. It did not happen. So this is the normal version of the fight. We psychic once and then we build the special attack up so that we dodge activating the emergency exit, which is its got a spot's ability where it uh, retreats once it goes below half health. If you get the special defense drop off of the first psychic and you've got good spe special attack, uh, you can skip the X special attack entirely. But it is a range. Even on good special attacks, it's a range on the Gullus Spot, and on very bad special attack, it's a range for Psychic to kill Ariados. But that kind of doesn't matter because you'd never go for the Gullus Spot range on that bad of a special attack. Anyway. I will need to heal. I took enough damage there that Thunder Punch is going to kill me. Oh, I also need to remember that I've got to fix my repel count. Oh, yeah. Which could be interesting because I have to do a bit of movement I haven't done in a long while here. And my last PB before the one I just got actually screws up the movement and fights an extra train. Does my balls. Thank you, Benji. Quality comment. <laughs> oh, I think you're pinning it. So normally we'd go underneath the trainer in this route, but because I messed up the repel timing, I can do... Where is he? What? Who is this kid? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? I didn't know he was a trainer. He just turned around and got me. <laughs> I didn't know either. <laughs> Alright. They actually me. fight like a similar... I think there's like a grown up, but you fight... Uh, not the stuff all, but the beware. In that, in that spot. I knew some. <laughs> I just didn't know he was a trainer. I didn't know he was a trainer and I didn't know he was going to turn around. So that's messed up. Where is this dude? Alright, I need him to... Come on, thank you. Yeah, usually you repel and go through grass at the bottom. Yeah. 
I was so excited for the fact that I hit, I got past that dude properly. But that other kid is completely new to me. That's good to know, I guess. <laughs> I, I just stopped way early. I expected that dude to be more to the left in that room. Anyway. Can you get encounters going over the rubble with Mudstone? I think so. I not 100% sure, but I thought you can, but... Yeah, I'll just I'll repel once I'm on, on the rubble. I think it'll get me most of the way. We might have to risk a little bit of grass towards the end of the round. Okay. It's an interesting... I've made this mistake a lot. It's really, really easy to just mash through the text and not pay attention to which... Uh, to whether you're repelling or not. Deliberately leaving it as late as possible. Ooh. Scary. You always get like. Before. You always get like. Oh. Scared. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Not punished. Oh. Because you get like this. This I don't know how it's called. In. Yeah, exactly. Like the as if like pay attention or danger, you are almost seen by a trainer. But it triggers like very early, and even when you're not really close to getting hit, you already get that like zoom in and like. It's the worst one is on the crystal pass for me. That one shits me up, and she always does it because you're so close to a vision anyway. Exactly. Yeah. I will not punished with encounters, but I mean, I did fight an entire extra trainer. But hey, nobody saw nobody that. Saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody in chat needs to keep a secret with me. When the big speedrunners who come later in the day ask how well the the moon run went, it went perfectly. No need to tell them any more details. They will not understand that anyway. <laughs> they don't care. Now we get an introduction to the Elite Four that we can't go in yet because they have literally have not built it. We're also going to intentionally fight this dude early. We have to fight him anyway at some point. Um, but he helps. Generally helps to fight this guy early for certain ranges later in the split. And there's just some very specific special attacks where fighting him here doesn't actually help at all. But I actually don't know what it is that helps by doing this here, though. I think you really? range on... on Drowsy or something. I don't understand why it wouldn't help with the other special attacks, though. Because the, I, the, the range just doesn't improve. Uh, and also, I, did, I didn't remember to heal when I did that other repel, so was concentrating too much on the repels. So I'll have to do that now. I wonder if you could skip the, this one as well, but probably not. I guess people already tried that. Uh, I imagine, yeah, people tried it. It looks very similar to like, the crystal skip. I think the only reason you can skip crystals is because when they've programmed her in, they didn't realize that you could kind of like loop around the edge of a line of sight and they didn't quite reach high enough. I don't yeah. think it's uh, I don't think it's like a quirk of the line of sights in general. I think it's just specifically how she was placed. Yeah. This, uh, this kid blows. <laughs> this thing has moves. It always outspeeds you, and you don't like any of the moves. I guess Electro Ball is okay, but otherwise they all suck. And annoyingly, if you get paralyzed here, which I just did, I actually don't want to heal this. As much as it sucks to keep paralysis for like three fights. Oh. Why did that just activate? Did I catch that with the touch screen? I didn't want to do that. Maybe. No, oh, leave, please. Thank you. I don't want to heal paralysis. Please suffer for a little longer. So we are going to have to potentially sit through some paralysis turns. I did not catch why. I think I caught it with the touch screen there. I wasn't paying attention to where my finger was placed. Um, the first two Pokemon in the Ghost Trial are a Ghastly and a Haunter. They will both outspeed me and they both like to use Hypnosis. So being paralyzed for the fight, skip sleep. 
Um, but it does come with the downside of being paralyzed for these fights and this drowsy coming up. Also, I don't know what the, the sparkling aria and aqua jet range is like here. Uh, special attack 11 plus almost my attack, 24 minus. Interesting. That's about 95, I'll be right. Still has a drowsy at this late into the game. Yeah. Very pathetic, but <laughs> good for good us. For us. Yeah. The, the actual ideal thing for these fights is to not get paralyzed on the Elekid and to get poisoned by this guy when you don't have to deal with fully paralyzed. Um, but it's oddly specific. You can see in, this just blows. As soon as you get one fully paralyzed, it just sucks. It's like barely worth it over getting put to sleep. Mind you, I say that, my PB got put to sleep seven times in this split, so... Yeah. That... This is or this section specifically is why if you have like really 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 high speed like plus nature and really high AV is really good because you outspeed ghastly and maybe haunter even on, on the trial and it's yeah. it's really nice. Genuinely you get like if you get like plus speed 31 IV it is so good for this section. Because you just outspeed you outspeed everything but the Gengar basically. Yeah. You don't need paralysis and you can just heal it off. Uh, yeah, this is just a bit of a catch-22 section, honestly. It sucks to be paralysed, but it's still the better option than having to heal. Like, like, like I say, my PB got put to sleep seven times. And that can just happen if you uh, aren't status studded here. We pass on this dude on the first way, he just doesn't see this far, but we will have to slow down slightly to avoid him on the way back. Now we get to take pictures! Which Yay. also sucks. Scary ghost trial. Spooky ghost. Actually, taking the pictures is actually not that simple. You can lose yeah. a lot of time if you get trolled by like the Pokemon that you have to Gastly's, take the picture of. Ghastly's always in the same spot, so we can just do that. Quanta moves around the same spots every time, so it's pretty easy to take a photo of. Gengar just can just not appear for like a minute. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I had it's several rounds where I lost 40 seconds to it or 50 seconds. It's just so annoying. And he's a psychic haunter. Confusion, not good. Oh boy. Not good. That's the worst thing you could have done. And curse. Okay. All oh, right, that works. No webcam to see amoeba tape pictures. You can't see anything if I'm doing it. I'm having to point the camera. Up. It's terrible. Right. I need to psychic this haunter, or my run is dead. <laughs> Fun fact. If I click sparkling aria, I lose a life. Oh, uh, that's probably a way to fix it. <laughs> add to add to it. I think I've got an Ether or something on me at this point. I could be wrong. Yeah, this is like the only place where PP is somewhat tight, but even then we still don't have to use a PP item. We just have to use Psychic, which is a very effective text. To be fair, you can sometimes have to use Max Elixir in E4. That's yeah, E4. Which is great. I, I, I wanted to say besides E4, but yeah. no, no at every point. Uh, the Gengar also still has Hypnosis, so still got to keep Paralysis, but he also does decent damage. But yeah, this photo is the worst one. If Gengar just wants to be a troll, then we could be sat here for a while. No. You dick! No. <laughs> you dick! I wasn't quick enough. So this is it, I just have to roll the camera back and forth. And sometimes he walks on, which is a really easy photo, and then sometimes you'll get back. I see my... The 3DS is like upside down right now. What's happening? Well, this is terrible. I literally haven't. Oh, there he is. <laughs> There's nothing I could have done about that other than be faster on the first picture. Yeah. Come on. 
And the, the motion controls are the fastest way to control it, but they do kind of suck. Like, at some point there, I was holding my 3DS flat, and I had to, like, move it back down to almost recalibrate, break it in a way. Yeah, I'm glad it didn't get fully paralyzed there, because I would have had to heal. At least the fight was alright. And this will be the last fight in the run that I have to save for, really? Ah, uh, I do not I'll quite probably agree with that. For, I'll probably save for champion. But... Yeah. Well, I don't think there's anything else that we need to save between here and champ. Yeah. This is the one of the easiest photos, although it is a bit awkward because it's right behind you, so you have to pre-spin your 3DS around and then spin it back around to get there. Please save for Lusamine? No. I'm dying to Lusamine, what do you mean? Unless you mean the second one? Do I need to save for that fight? Surely not. Just heal on the... Uh... Yeah, that be fine. I guess. Anything that can kill you in that is... Um, Miss Major, so you just heal on it if it does. Right, anyway, this fight sucks. This... Yeah. So again, we have to defend. We don't get two shot on this, um, but the defend keeps us alive a lot longer. The problem is, is this Haunter outspeeds us and has Hypnosis. <laughs> so we need to dodge this, otherwise this fight becomes terrible quickly. Sparkling Ari is great though, because it'll break the disguise on Mimikyu. Right, Lick's good, don't paralyze me. Nice, okay. Yeah, nice. So this is a really good start. Did it mimic me that turn? Yes, it did, did mimic. I'm not going to go, to be honest, I'm not, I don't know why I asked, I'm not going to go for the the Z move or something play it say, but it does mean I'm probably not going to have to heal. Yeah, I would never go for that, I, I hate that stress. I hate it too, however, I had a really bad run the other day that kind of needed to go for it, and then I, it had already mimicked, and then I got play nice miss. <laughs> it's like, Ooh. oh okay, this is dead now. I play rough, right? Yeah, play rough, sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. That was a really good fight. That's how you want the fight to go. Basically, if, if you're in Torrent, you can go for the normal sparkling area, but it's really unreliable because it's not guaranteed to attack you and to put you into Torrent. And if you are in Torrent, torrent already, you're dead, so you have to heal, and it's, yeah, it's not a great setup. But not really go for that ever, in my opinion. But yeah, this is where comparing against record splits is terrible because uh, this split is ridiculously fast because it's a really good split and he goes for the, the Z moveless finish. And then everything after this is amazing. But yeah, we're in we're in comfy territory now in terms of the run staying alive. There's not a lot from here I can die to. Until we get to Champ, I guess. Well, it's comfy in terms of a marathon run, I guess. It's actually kind of terrible from here for record attempts because there's lots of ways of just losing little bits of time. Yeah. We're going to do a final market trip here. Well, no, not the final one, sorry. We're gonna do a final market trip for like heals and stuff. And repels. Like, X items, we're gonna do one more trip later on. But the the one required double fight of the run is coming up, so we are gonna to have to get Picky Peck out here. We'll also use this opportunity to heal. So Primarine is now fully healed. Five quick nest and quick. After every trial, you get like I uh, pokeballs from the, from the captains, so we just sell all of those. It's a lot of money. Yep. A slight route improvement now that we don't actually need to sell all of them. Thank you, Headbot. I have done everything now, I've not healed. Yeah. Okie dokie. I always worry about that one, I seem to mess that one up a lot. I seem to forget the PC heal sometimes. It, I forget like the other part, like we we deposit piggyback later, 
Uh, yeah. And I uh, forget that so often to deposit the picky pack. This fight can go kind of bad. Again, because the goal that's going to lead with Confuse, right? This is another one that can spiral if uh, things go pretty terrible. It's like he gets a pretty bad range. Most it's of only, the time. I've got pretty good special attack, and it's only 10 and 16 here. For Aqua Gel, eventually. Oh, I got it, nice. Okay, cool. And then, ideally, the Slazzle uses Flame Burst and not Toxic, but as long as I don't die, I don't really care too much here. Cool. I hit myself, of course. Yeah, not too bad. I'll have to heal that damage now. But... If you take one Flame Burst and you don't punch yourself or anything, then you can skip the heal. But that's unfortunately a bit too much damage. Oh, also, that, uh, the Z Sparkling Aria that we used in the Ghost Trial is the last Z move that we're going to use. Yes. I forgot, where do we get the Mystic Wars? <laughs> uh, it's after the Pseudo Widows. The kid oh, gives yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's weird how, like, in so many runs you just get Mystic Water, I feel like. And yeah. Oh, in Hoenn, I guess, only. Well, it is strange, considering, like, in this game it's not easy to get Charcoal or the other one. Whatever the Grass-type one is. Uh, yeah, Mystic Water seed. just get... Yeah. Mystic Water just gets handed to you as part of the story. My B button is dying again. <laughs> Those random Tauros stops are just because the, the B button's freaking out. Grimson's going to ask you to predict a coin flip and then not actually check what it is. Because he's a weirdo like that. So yeah, this is where we get Sharpedo Jet. Um, and it's also the only time we're ever going to use it. So we don't bother like, auto-assigning it. Because it is a faster Surf option than Lapras anyway, but this is the only other bit of Surfing we're going to do. So. I'll wait for that dude to spin around, otherwise he catches us as he turns. Get on the land. I don't know what happened there, he seemed to hug the edge rather than going up. Yeah, you have to like really... If, you, if your angle is not like... Yeah. Uh, deep, uh, like, steep enough, it just... Hugs slide. the edge instead of going on, yeah. Yeah, it's just sliding along. It's the same with like dwarves sometimes, especially in Gen 6, I feel like, when you, you just sometimes run into them and bonk against them instead of going through the door. Stupidly placed item here means I need to get off Tauros for a second, because <laughs> you can't get through that gap, despite what it looks like. Hook the wall just to avoid that other trainer, and then this is the mandatory double fight of the run. It's actually faster to use a X, apparently the next special attack on Picky Peck's turn here. However, I only have one left, and I'd rather leave X special attacks at the top, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to use a move. Because the menu positioning of my X special attacks is a little bit more important to me. Lead as rain. I don't know if the Drossy will die otherwise. Yeah. And yeah, we don't teach Hyper Voice. It's a nice move, but it's it's a bit late. Everything we have kind of trumps it now. Also, a really nice part of this run is that we only use 100% uh, accurate moves. So, oh, yeah. 
You never it's... miss. Yeah, you... Yeah. Quotation marks. Yeah. Asterisk. You can get accuracy dropped, but... Oh, I see. It's, yeah. it's quite rare. I was about to say that you, the only thing you can get actually dropped on is Harla, and you use the disarming voice anyway, but there is a... There's an Aether Foundation fight. Well, I don't need to say no to that. Good job. There's an Aether Foundation fight. I think it's the it's either the Magneton or the Porygon that has mirror shot and that can lower you. It's uh, it's Magneton. I died to that before. Wow, that's pretty bad. I've had it drop my accuracy once, but I didn't miss that before. And then there's, uh, of course, uh, Apu. Oh yeah. Of course. Oh yeah, that's that's like the really obvious one, isn't it? Forgot about that. One. Besides the very few parts where your accuracy is dropped, it's nice to have. Sorry, you don't have to rely on Mega Cake for like the first hour of the run. We are in overleveled territory now with powerful moves and the rain, so we are just pressing buttons and winning. Yeah, the grunts are really not strong in this game. <laughs> the normal grunts are strong. Like Spinrek, Grimer at level 30. Yeah. yeah not, not very dangerous, scary. Another quick turnaround there. It's really scary going in that one particular tunnel because I feel like I'm going to talk to the trainers every time. Specific movement here to avoid this guy. And this lady. Uh, no. I don't think that matters. Yeah. She looks down first, so. And there's also a slight wait at the top of the stairs here for this guy to move. You're gonna get all those questions right and then say no afterwards for some reason. Yes. Guzma is like quirky and says no. Doesn't want to admit to his hobbies. I don't know. <laughs> this Guzma fight looks very similar to the last one that we did. I think the only Although difference is that you oh. never get, like, you never psychic after the drop, if you get yeah. the drop. Yeah, you always do the special attack version. Um, yeah, the, the other one is that you can end up uh, in, like, dead to shadow sneak range a lot more on this one. So I do need to pay attention to my health afterwards. 24 slash 36 tanks. So the reason why we do Psychic into Special into Psychic is because Kalissa Pot's ability is, I forgot the name, it's like Runaway or something, where a coward, I don't know, so it like Ooh. switches out, that's not okay. good. Question, I die exactly to a max roll. Then, <laughs> you, you are gone. Hey, it's, this is the correct play in a, in a run. Oh no. Nice. Oh my god. It's only one in 16 to die, it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> I did, definitely could have just healed there and been totally fine, but that's way more fun. This run's been going too well. We need a little bit of risk. Yes. <laughs> Equid Saddle, oh like, my oh my god. <laughs> what is this dude about? <laughs> where, this is... where, where are my safety strats? I thought we were playing safe here. Nah. Have a little bit of fun here and there. So this is the another candy section. We've still got, I think we've got three on us. No, we've, we've only got two. We're only going to use two anyway. Yeah, the game is not exciting thing. enough on its own. We need to make it more exciting. Playing risky. 
I always take that menu dead slow because it's really easy to mess it up. Mm -hmm. Just the edge of our seat there, bro. But yeah, cutscene with Nanu here. Is it Nanu? Is that right? Yeah. And then we're gonna go buy a bunch of X items. Basically everything we need for the rest of the game. Unfortunately, the only way we can get all of our X items is by going back to the first island. So we're getting a free heal. Yeah, that heal's also bad. We don't want that one. Because the very next fight we want to die. But it's usually fine, you usually get two killed anyway. Uh, oh, wait, I've no. never been two hit killed. I always no, mind. That, no, mind. that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, it's poison a three. Fang, poison Fang can two hit killed, but you have to get lucky. And it's kind of slower anyway because of the toxic decks. Yeah. Alright, so Picky Packs basically used its usefulness, they don't need it anymore. It's literally only there for one whole fight. Back it goes. And then it's X item time. Oop. Okay. Why did I get? Why did I afford 19 speeds? Though? You got. You fought the uh, kid. Oh yeah. Okay. You were ready with that answer. You knew I was going to ask that as well, didn't you? No, I did. I, I just <laughs> thought about that as well. I was looking at the notes. I was like, 18, 19. That doesn't. That's not the same number. <laughs> no, I was I, like, I oh just... no, what if I forgot to buy? Like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's just money from the thing. But yeah, we need one X Spadef. Or the champion fight, ironically. We have an X defend on us, although I have determined that you actually don't need that for the champion fight anymore. Anyway. I don't know why we actually X defend on the champ fight. Um, Wait, you don't need it? No. Um, you tank a crunch from Snorlax. I think the thought was that uh, Decidueye could sucker punch you, but it never sucker punches for some reason. It, I, I've seen Fight Upper God gotten sucker punch twice. Oh really? Okay, that's interesting. It, In my it, testing, <laughs> it has never sucker punched me. Yeah. But that's good to know. To be honest, I, was, I wasn't going to use it as a, I'm always going to skip the S defend. It was just something to note if I needed that extra turn. Because it's, it is only one X item turn. Yeah. In practice, I've never had it sucker punch me. Well, that does make more sense. I'm just, I would have been surprised if it never could. I just figured it was like determined to prioritize using a Z move or something. I don't know. It never happened to me yet. The only person I ever saw that happen to was Fred Hopper, and it happened twice to him. Which is kind of cursed. I seem to always get the. Oh, that's a crit. Will that kill from here? Come on, buddy, you can do it. Yeah! That's the first time I've it. ever been two shot by that guy. I knew it, see? Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, it's a two shot. I know. <laughs> I have rigged the RNG. I love that that monkey turns around at the end of that cutscene as well for no reason. <laughs> like, why are you there, dude? <laughs> so the Nanu fight is pretty free. Yes, it is an uh, internet threat. There are quite a lot of fights where you don't have to win in order to progress the story. And Guardian oh, was one of those. Basically every how, uh, how fight besides the last one. Yeah, if there's a fight where it like the game basically throws you in it with no warning, you typically don't have to more speed at the bottom. Typically don't have to win those. I 
in this bit after drop matters. It shouldn't. So I actually need to set up, well I don't need to, but um, ideally we'd set up 2x speeds to outspeed the Persian. Um, but the Persian basically always fake out turn 1, so it's better to set up the second one on it. Yeah. God, I hate a low one version this design. Yeah, it's so ugly. It's so bad. Hey, we're done with Third Island. Oh, it's for Island 3.5. Yes, time for the Evil Team concert. Also, this very first section of movement used to be the trickiest thing in the run, um, but there's a much easier version to do now. <laughs> I've, uh, I still messed it up in the last run that got here, so... Wait, do, do you mean the... You... Wait, there's an easier way? Yes, I put a video in uh, the 3DS Discord oh, recently. I, oh, I saw that, but I haven't watched it because I wasn't at home, and then I forgot. Yeah. That's right, can, you're about to see it right now. It's very similar to the other one, you just don't go above the last trainer, you go underneath him. But right. um, I think people used to think if you did that you had to get the candy later, but you don't. You can just go and get it immediately. So it's like half a second slower than the super optimal movement with none of the risk. Because I can wait here for this guy to fully turn around. Right. That would be too late to do the optimal movement on, but you don't get caught by her. You avoid this dude, and then you can just go get the candy. And this oh. is fine, you don't get caught by anything. Because <laughs> if you delay this candy until you like leave Aether Hideout, there's too many boxes... Well, there's boxes in the way that makes going to get it a longer trip. But yeah, that movement is free. Interesting. Please ignore the fact that I lost, like, the best pace ever in this game by messing that up recently. But, hey. A uh, Faber fight that's about to start is one of these fights that if you have an amazing, amazing speed, like 28 plus nature, um, you save a lot of time here. This guy just always uses Hypnosis and you two-shot, um, but because he always wants to Hypnosis, you don't want to get tied into like Hypnosis heal, Hypnosis heal, so you have to speed turn one if you don't outspeed. If you do outspeed, you can just go. And just mash sparkling aria. If I get able to sleep here, I'm gonna um, X special attack as well. So, this guarantees that I one shot him now. And I don't have to potentially wake up twice. He thankfully won't go for hypnosis when you're asleep. I think that's only a thing uh, wild Pokemon do. Yeah, I think they have to have bad, like, bad AI intentionally to do like, that. No AI. Yeah. I also took no damage there, which means I'm not going to get Torrent for some of these fights coming up, which is a bit of a shame. And next fight coming up is another fight where if you've got bad special attack, it's a range. Um, it's oddly similar to the ranges for uh, the totem fights we mentioned it on earlier. Usually you, you want to have like 23 uh, yes. special attack. Oh, I think 23 is a good range for Emily, right? 
Uh, it's 25 neutral, I think, for Emily. Okay. But yeah. Then 23 that... here would guarantee this mock. Yeah, it's like, like low 20s, like 23, 24, 25, that's where you're like usually good yeah. for the run. Bare minimum 21. 21's where you start guaranteeing the Vicar Vault and Lorantis Rangers, so you don't have to worry about those. It's actually 23 for Magnemite. Neutral. Oh, is it? I was yes. Wrong. So yeah, but I, w I would say that's like the threshold. If you have 23, you're usually good for like very most fights. I don't know what that muck just tried to do, but I've never seen this thing not damage me. I think gunk gunk shot shot miss. Oh, no, no. gunk shot miss. What is it? Normally you're like at torrent here, nearly. Mm. What did it? Wait, they did use gunk shot. Wait, why doesn't Dushin knock? Just what? Oh, I guess because you have an item and AI. He normally likes to knock off, yeah. Yeah, knock off. Uh, people, surely, well, surely gunk shot does a lot more damage. Yes, but the, the Pokemon, like, the AI works, like, I think, pretty sure that if you have an item and it has knock off, it likes to, like, knock off. Yeah. No matter well, how much damage you can do. That's a very scary way that you could potentially lose your run then. <laughs> I've never seen it not go for it. No, I also haven't. That's the first time I've seen it not knock on. That's interesting. Hmm. What a fun and interesting way to lose future runs. Yeah, my favorite. So if I had Torrent here, this would just be a one shot. Uh, unfortunately, I do not. Also, this is this the guy that can lower the uh, accuracy, or was it the Magneton? The Magneton. Okay. Oh no, it's screeched. No, I mean, like, one of these has mirror shot. I can't I, I, mean, I mean, the mark screeched you. Ah, okay. I'm looking at the ward. Yeah. Screech miss. Interesting. Magnet runs. The only reason Psychic's there is because it was going to kill anyway, and it's slightly less text than Sparkling Aria. Probably saves a frame. Yeah, if I had Torrent going into the next fight, I could uh, just Sparkling Aria and win. But as I don't, we're going to have to individually Psychic stuff. We could, could still end up being fast if um, if Raichu's a friend and Psychics as well. Mm. This is the start of the double fights with a friend section. And this is where a lot of your late game pace can come and go. But these double fights lag like hell. Especially on original 3DS. You know, experience how is not that useless, luckily. So, and oh, and Raichu is also pretty powerful. Yeah, I think that was a low limit Raichu hit in that psychic actually, which is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't kill the Vanillish unfortunately, but it does mean I don't have to rely on Raichu to do it, which it did anyway. Good job. That was a pretty good fight. Because the one downside to Torrent Sparkling Aria there is that you also kill Raichu a lot of the time. I also love the twist there that you beat those dudes and you're like, tell us the information we want, and they go, no. First time in Pokemon history. So I did reapply the repel there. Um, it's not necessary, there's no encounters in this area. It's just faster to keep the repels up because the 11 max repels I bought will last to the end of the game. So rather than having to reapply them later, I'll just keep pressing A now. One max repel will get us through the rest of uh, Aether F Foundation, so it's not like it's uh, a significant time loss. I 
Right, now we're going to get the, the... There's three double fights coming up here. And if I go into the bag while two Pokemon are out too quickly in any of these fights, I can crash my entire console. And given that I haven't saved since the Ghost Trial, that would quite quickly mercy kill this entire run. <laughs> I mean, maybe you just do one save. Yeah. After this fight, well, just, just the in only case. The only fight that uh, we need so. to go into the bag for is the last one. Uh, yeah. And generally, you just wait time at the start. So I've never had it crash with the four second wait, touch wood. Is it four seconds? I thought. Yeah. Wait for Mississippi's is what it says. That might be less yeah. than seconds, but I just wait four full seconds every time. I am not losing my run to this shit. I always call Mississippi's, actually. So we want Raichu to attack Pelipper on this turn, really. Unfortunately, it didn't. Because if Raichu just Electro Balls the Pelipper, this is a one turn fight. What? Wait, do you even care? I've never that? seen that. Why would... Why would you do that? <laughs> this is the worst fight I've ever seen. This should just be a one turn or a two turn fight. Really? Wow. Oh. I've never <laughs> seen that before. Yeah. Remember how I said that power is usually pretty smart? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's the other one. What reason would you swap out there? You one shot the Pelipper immediately. Like, it's not like it used a water type move. So. <laughs> oh, it's no. actually very weird. Because if it used a water type move, I think it would have yeah. made sense. But Yeah, it's a flying type Pokemon as well. It's like that's a way worse matchup. Yeah, but, but if it's used to water type move, it thinks Leafy on this. Uh, better against it, I think. Uh, it 100% kills with an electric move through that. That's not what it. I mean, yeah, but that's the same for like any any four. Any four, she sometimes switches when you use. Uh, like. Well, oh, no, she just she, or something. she just switches when you um when she has like three spikes up. Really? That's, ge oh, that's generally the reason is because she's got all of her setup done, so she switches out. I thought she was because she used Psychic and then she switches to Crobat or something. No, I've, she does switch to uh, Crobat. Yeah, she does switch to Crobat, but I've had the switch before I've damaged her because she just used Spikes three times. And then it was like, right now I'm switching. Oh, okay. This fight blows because the Electabuzz always light screens. I've literally never seen it use anything else. And um, whereas How is usually reasonably intelligent, Gladion is an absolute moron and always attacks Magmar for some reason. So this could be a one-turn fight, but it never ever is. Yeah, every time. Every time. And every. the burn. And I'm confused. <laughs> oh boy. Every time I get in this fight. God's sake. I'm gonna Aqua Jet here, it's not gonna kill. It does give, uh, oh well, Golbat died, great. Yeah. I was gonna say it gives Golbat a chance to kill him, but the Electabuzz got him. And yeah, that's uh, another example of why these fights are likely. Right, so in this next fight, we do need to X special attack it on the first turn. Because it's one of these risky fights, I am literally just going to sit there as after the fight's loaded for like five seconds and do nothing. And that's because if I don't do that, there's a very good chance that the game, the entire console will just crash. And that hey, we got Moonblast. Very, very good yeah. move. Moonblast is our final, we have our final move set now for Primarina. It's very handy already for the very next fight. Very, very yes. good. So yeah, this is the, the laggiest fight in the run. Yeah. I stop having to worry about the crashes once the Ledian is dead, once we get one of these Pokemon off the field, but until it's dead, I can't rush into the bag. So we are just gonna sit here for a little bit. Yeah. 
That's a very bad first turn. Wow. Wow. Really, Awful. really, really bad. Wow, wow. That's not great, actually. Because I don't want Slowbro to die before Ledian. Otherwise, this fight could be terrible. Did I crit the Ledian? No, never looked. Alright. Uh, this is, this is a very strange fight. This is awful. I can't heal this sleep either. Yeah, you have to wait. I have to wait. I'm just going to use a move. I'm just going to let. Oh, because we don't have Bruxish out, so yeah, I'm definitely just going to use a move. Not going to F about with this. Really? Oh. I'm just going to have to sit here and wait again. I'm going to have to wait the five seconds and then heal the sleep off. Oh, that's such a weird fight. I, I, actually, I, don't, I don't want to. I do not want to get this crash. I'm not going to. I'm just going to wait and hopefully get woken up. Incineroar woke up. That is not great because now we attacked Hypno. I need you to kill the Ledian, please! This is the um, only thing that matters. <laughs> get this Ledian dead so I don't crash the fucking game. Holy shit. No, it's still alive! <laughs> Alright, fine. It's, it's in a rock and win this. You can, you can just win this. Uh, you're oh, also so dead. You're dead to Brox's red. Yeah, yeah. But that's fine. I can deal with that. Dying to Brox yeah, is just the last Pokemon is passable. I think he didn't kill. Uh, right. Please just wake up. Come on, Primarina. Uh, you can do it. Yes! Alright. <laughs> Why did all of these fights go terribly? <laughs> I didn't expect the, the Braxish also dies to... <laughs> I was in Torrent. Oh yeah, I okay. how much damage I was in Torrent. What? That, that was so bad, wow. Disgusting. I was never going to save for that fight. I mean, I'd, I'd have to save eons ago anyway. I was never going to save for that, but I, I, was, I was terrified of going into the bag and healing sleep in case that froze the game. Like, no, sod it, I'm just going to play it out. <laughs> I, it's, you, the whole premise of that fight is to get rid of Ledian as quickly as possible. The fact that it was alive on the last turn is ridiculous. Yeah, usually it dies on the, like, after you use Bucking Area. Also, oh, how... I was an absolute friend and sent out Incineroar instead of Leafeon, which is way worse. Yeah, was Incineroar cool. will pretty much win the fight for you. Yeah. Anyway, we're past the danger point. Uh, this would be another minor time save for really good speed, as you'd outspeed this goal map. Hopefully we just get mean luck. Because if he damages me, I think I have to heal. Uh, depending on how much, yeah. Yeah. Because you want to be close to full going into Guzma and I have bad defense as well. Hey, guess what? And it poisoned me. Okay, I'm definitely getting rid of all that. If this was an actual attempt, I'd be pissed at how bad this Aether Foundation has gone. Yeah, this has not been great at all. Nope. I should get rid of a couple of items out of the bag there, I guess. Antidote and the energy route have gone there. There's a great bit in my notes here, right before the Guzman fight, that says heal to full, brackets, or don't. Yeah, I always, okay. I always <laughs> chuckle out. <laughs> oh, don't. Whatever. Oh, don't. <laughs> it's your run. At the time I was learning, um, or oh, like, de-rusting Charmander for Fire Red Leaf Green, and in the modern version of the notes, there's, a, there's some fight where it's like, um, Quick Attack does colon, and it just says uh, a lot, don't die lol. It's like, oh, that's really useful, thanks for that. <laughs> nice. Also, absolute mood, that last guy. <laughs> He's like, doesn't even bother fighting you. <laughs> oh, we also have to, we missed the the good cutscene where we're all angry at Faber, except uh, <laughs> Gladion looks like he wants to kill him. How's just laughing and you're sat there like dead behind the eyes again. <laughs> 
I was too too busy being mad at how the uh, the, the fight had gone to remember it. Last time we get to hear best theme of the game. This guy can swords dance twice. What a champion. Imagine that I healed for this fight. What a fool I am. Actually. Just our base, and that also is my favorite. And I mean this pretty much unironically. There was one more fight, which we were going to intentionally die to, and then nothing is going to happen for about 20 minutes. So if you're sat there intently watching this run and you've wanted a break, as I'm sure thousands of you are, now is the time. Like, nothing is going to happen. You're just going to be mashing through text for a long while now. What do you mean the next fight will be so amazing and so entertaining? Mm. It's so oh, great. I get metronome nine times in a row. Yeah, can't <laughs> wait. Isn't this entire game just mashing through text? Wow, me. I've never been so offended by something I 100% agree with. So you could always say that about like all the games. This game's definitely worse for it, but yeah. I mean, you do have to like the run a lot yeah. more on this run to want to play it more. Like, it's, it's easier to like other PSR runs, but I like this run, so... Yeah. You Uzum won't have is... to suffer with me. Uzu is way worse. It's like, this game has a hard first island where you die a lot, but after that it's generally okay. It's still a lot that can happen, but it's not that terrible. Uzu is like the, the early game is super free for the most part in Uzu, besides the catches. Um, you have to you have to catch the Spiro and the 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 dark cat. That's a really also Rua, yeah. And besides that, the first two hours is just basically free. It's so boring, and then the, the mid game is terrible. Like, you have to hit <laughs> so many flies, high jump kicks, you can get crits a lot of the times, it's just awful. <laughs> so, I don't know, Uzum is, is so much worse in this game. And even longer. Okay, sorry, I had to rant, rant about that. No, it's fine. It's not like there's anything else happening, don't you worry. <laughs> Guzma's definitely... Uh, unironically, Guzma definitely helps because his theme is so f good and it comes at a point in the run where it's like, wow, I'm actually on a run. Like The first time you hear Guzma theme is after Electric Trial and it's like, yeah, I'm hyped now. I get to hear the good theme and I'm on a run. Wow. Yes. But yeah, I said it at the start of the run, I do love this run, but it's very difficult to recommend it to other people. You just have to like the same elements of it that I like, so... Or at least some enough elements of it to make a five hour run worth it. Yeah. It's certainly not a great run to get into PSR with, I wouldn't say. Although I suppose it's relatively easy compared to... Well, no, the battle decisions are relatively easy compared to other runs. But then, I guess that's not true either. You do do a lot of like HP manipulation for Lorantis and stuff. That's the kind of stuff that I really like. Is that it's on the fly. Your stats are never quite the same. The, the Lorantis is never quite the same. You have to adapt to what you get. Yeah. Sure. 
Yeah, this Lusamine fight coming up. She leads a Clefable, and we want to die because it's way faster. Um, but the Clefable has Metronome, Cosmic Power, and Moonblast. Ideally, we just want to encore it into Moonblast so that we die quickly. Um, cosmic, power, uh, cosmic Power is obviously terrible. Uh, metronome is generally terrible, unless you get ridiculously lucky. Oh yeah, there's, there's also the the barrier to entry to actually play a friggin' 3DS game in the first place. Ooh. Yeah, I'm like one of the only people who started out with MU and then switched to console. I had a 3DS capture card for... what the hell did I have it for? I don't remember why I ever bought it in the first place. I did black on it originally, which is technically not optimal. And then uh, I didn't pay for my new 3DS capture card. I got it as part of a sponsorship deal, so that's the only reason why I'm playing them. I've got like both consoles for this game. 3DS is definitely the worst, yeah. DS capture cards are pretty good now. Loopy's is very nice and reasonably affordable. And it's probably a similar amount of money for like GBE and GBA. Gem 1 to 2 is the best because emulator is just equal to console now. Yeah. They're not considered like, any different. Fun fact about this cutscene. There's like there's like 70, 70 seconds you could use as a bathroom break. I did use that once and I forgot to clear the last text box. Oh, and you came back the, to nothing. Yeah. yeah, it's like after the Fade to Black, there's still a text box coming up. You yeah, have to clear. But I, I left as soon as it faded to black, but then after the fade to black there's still a text box. And then I came back, I was like, yeah, I just wasted 70 seconds. <laughs> cool. There is a... you can homebrew to get like local recording, but it actually affects the speed that the game runs at, so it's not comparable to actual console runs, as ironic as that is. Yeah, it's on the same leaderboard as MU. Yeah. So it's not really a solution to actually compete with console runners, if that was the main draw for it. If you want to just play on console though, it works quite nicely. Because I don't think I'd want to run this on emulator. I can't imagine using touchscreen controls with a mouse. It's okay. <laughs> you get used to it. For this game, the emu isn't even that much faster, in my experience. Like, my PV only was like one minute faster than record at the time. Uh, and I thought my run was pretty solid, so it's probably not as good, but it's probably only like 2 to 3, 4 minutes faster in total. Metronome Constraints, could you have picked a worse move? Cosmic Power again. Oh boy. Come on, buddy. You need to attack me. Yay, that'll do. That's not too bad, because he's got... Oh no, Cosmic Power doesn't up its special attack. I always think it does that and it doesn't. Yeah, it's definitely not Carmine. Surely this kills. Sure. Okay. Okay. Not terrible. I've had worse for certain. I've had better as well, though. But yeah, now that we're done with that fight, we are literally about 15 minutes of nothing. We're just going to mash through text, move around, and mash through more text. Lily's going to go on a whole adventure. We're just going we to be there. We get to see the good version of Lily. Uh, I actually prefer this version. Uh, okay, that's that's crazy. No, I don't trust your judgment anymore. <laughs> that's right, I don't really like a design either which way. Yeah, okay. There's something about her design that makes her look either like she wears her skirts way too high, or that she's like three quarters legs. Like, it doesn't visually make a lot of sense, the way she wears the stuff. Especially the skirt in that like, redone design. It looks like she's got it sat way too high. But, but she's happy and m motivated. I don't and care. The... She's about to spend 15 minutes talking to me about how she wishes she was doing something with life. And I'm going to be doing nothing. Because she's sad. I but don't she's... care. But she's trying, okay? She's I'd rather just leave best. her here. 
<laughs> Put her to sleep in her mum's bed and get the fuck out of here. Do the last island on my own. I don't have to run about 8,000 times. Yeah, that's, that's quite rude, okay. <laughs> Basically, I hate Lily. Get rid of this girl. God damn it. The OST for this game is great. Yes. Maybe just hate story elements. True, I'm a speedrunner. Every speedrunner hates story elements. Mm, wrong. <laughs> now, this, for the most part, the story doesn't bother me. This is the one section that I'm not a huge fan of. But generally, if I'm here in an actual attempt, I'm on pace, so I don't really care too much. But in a marathon, this is this is going to be a bit of a drag. Because it is just running about and talking to Lily for about 15 minutes straight. There's not really a bad Pokemon OST. Uh, there's a lot of forgettable ones. Yeah, Scarlet and Violets is completely forgettable. And it's an absolute hot take and people hate me for it, but I think Gen 3's OST is pretty forgettable. There's not really a great track in Gen 3. You just have the trumpets, but a lot of those. And they... I guess Archie and Maxi theme are pretty, pretty solid. I, I do like the Archie and Maxi theme. That's about the only one that really sticks out there. And D4, I guess, but that's... Yeah. Well, no, when I say Gen 3, I mean literal Gen 3. I don't mean Auras. Auras definitely ups the game. Makes Hoenn's oh, yeah, that... themes a lot better. But also, like, like Slate, Slateport yeah. City theme. Auras that's... OST is worse than Gen 3. My friend, you are cruising for a ban right now. <laughs> that's, that's I, a hot I have take the opportunity. I have the time. <laughs> I can type out... <laughs> slash ban Rosamine if I want to. <laughs> the dice standing the left <laughs> nearly. <laughs> but have you listened to the Wally 2 theme? You, yeah. Like, like. The Wally theme alone, like, outclasses everything in the original Gen 3 OST. And it's like a 10 second loop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm joining the ban. Cool. Remake themes were fine even I don't I don't think I've ever listened to BDSPs. I forget BDSP even exists. But I've definitely not listened to the OST for that. Our Gold Soul Silver's OST is fine but a little overrated. I prefer the original Gen 2 one on that one. Um Yeah. That's Fire true. Red Leaf Green is kinda of better than Gen 1, but that's not really that difficult. Gen 1 wasn't exactly a technical masterpiece at the time. Well it kinda of was, but not for those reasons. BDSP is a better speedrun without music. True. An yeah. awful game that was. Isn't there like a tool now where it plays the themes by like, capturing so, yeah. your screen transitions? I said BDSP is probably the Pokemon game where I have no knowledge. Completely un unaware of anything. In it's that game. very limited for me, yeah. I remember it being a really interesting glitch route initially. And then they like patch the hell out of it, so. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that, Tahi. I also much prefer the Black White 2 remixes. Yeah. Although it's really, really difficult to screw up the Gen 2 Kanto leader theme, which is one of the best leads. What well, is the best leader theme? It's one of the best themes in any Pokemon game. So we have reached the fourth island. That doesn't mean we get to do anything fun for a while yet. Gen 6 Gym Leader theme is a banger. I don't remember it, but Gen 6's OST is generally slept on. I quite like XY's OST. Yeah, XY's good. As ever, Pokemon peaked around Gen 5 and 6, so everything in Gen 5 to 6 is just the best version of. I mean, I, I really enjoyed playing like, playing Moon and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and like, casually, I really enjoyed, enjoyed them. 
I still have not beaten these games casually. I've only beaten them through speedruns. Yeah, that's a lot of people's opinions. Yeah. I just couldn't get into it. It just was not very interesting. I've never, still never played anything in Gen 8, and I didn't enjoy Gen 9. So. I permanently uh, switched to the Legends games that they're totally going to make more of. Please, for the love of God, make more Legends games. Really? I think Gen 5 was the first... Yeah. Go on. Uh, yeah, it was the first game where I completed the Pokédex, so... Wow. I, I really enjoyed it. Nice. I'm just reacting to uh, John saying Gen 5 made him stop playing Pokémon. For me, it's like literally the peak of Pokémon. It's never been as good as Gen 5. I, I have never played Gen 5. Oh man. It is. A, I suppose it is a bit of a polarizing one. Like the uh, the higher level of evolutions that they did for Gen Five really seem to split people's opinions. I love the fact that there's like some Pokemon that don't evolve until like level high sixties, because the game works around that. Like, yeah. But yeah, Gen Five might be a bit polarizing in the grand scheme of things. I think Legends has been pretty polarizing as well. I think for people who really like battles, Legends is going to disappoint the hell out of you. It's not a it's not a battle orientated game by any means. I literally don't care. I just want to go around and catch Pokemon. So Legends is like it just hits all the vibes that I want. Yeah, I agree. It's very fun. Very glad it made me skip XY because they are by far the worst games. Jordan, please. You're killing me, dude. That's so many uh, very questionable takes in this. That, wow. <laughs> <laughs> XY are really, really good. I... Not the best, admittedly. It was a it was a downwards turn after Gen 5, but they're still really good. That's bonk. Legends is very much a turn the brain off and do a thing for like four hours. I mean, Pokemon is a turn the brain off game. You literally do not need to think to beat any Pokemon game ever. Uh, not true. I really struggled with BDSP E4. Like, oh really? I, I actually like my team was dog shit. Oh sorry. <laughs> so I swore like twenty times at this point, mate. Don't worry about that. Okay, uh, but yeah, I, I could not beat the E4, I really had to like actually buy X items and stuff. I never had to do that before. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I just, the E4 is so hard in PDSP, <laughs> with like all, they have all like maxed out EVs and stuff. Like, I hold uh, held items. Alright, so we do replace Lapras in our pull or like uh, shortcuts because we're going to use Machamp a few times towards the end of the game. Thanks, Lily. Uh, what am I doing? I mess up. I do. I do mess up a three boulder puzzle. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't even touch. This is a two boulder puzzle. I don't even touch the other one. I promise I know how to play this game. I didn't even know that getting on powers is faster there. I don't know that it is for certain because you always get the repel text. So it might mm. not actually be faster unless you're really good at execution. Like, it's like I don't think Tauros is faster for that last bit either. But... This is going to be the worst split I've ever done for Poisonium, almost certainly. With how bad Aether when and then that mess up as well. Yeah. I, I, I was questioning, like, I, I saw you running around, I was like... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Not done yet.
Apu's design in this game is very cute. Although how she's like three quarters eyebrows. <laughs> I, I don't like Apu, mainly because <laughs> the fight is terrible. Yeah, so. that is the that is the other fight I need to remember to save for, isn't it? Well, no, oh, I don't. Yeah. Cause, uh, I mean, if I die to it, I can just go back to it. So I suppose I don't really need to. But you I can just fly straight there. Is saving faster? Possibly? But I look cooler if I don't and then win. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I, 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 felt, I, your, I felt your sigh through the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... Uh, okay. I'm talking to a guy who does early search in Fire the Green set races. So, uh, what do I expect? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm on pace for sub-5 here. I think, maybe, I don't know, it kind of depends on how uh, how much damage I took in this split. Also, I love that these two just walk off without you in this bit. Like, you can just take me back with you. I've really got to run back through this one section. More cutscenes. Good try, Huali. Rocked Pikachu face. Alright, if anybody wins slots between now and the next time I'm in a battle, which is like 10 minutes from now, I will gift you a sub to PSR TV. How about that? Let's make this section a little bit interesting. Yeah, cool I'm, hoping, slots. I'm hoping there is a cooldown. <laughs> I said that. I'm presuming there is. I'm presuming you can't just mash the hell out of it. There is. Good. Oh, oh, wait, you're a mod, so you could change the cooldown, I think, maybe? Nah, I could, but I'd rather not be poor, thanks. <laughs> this is the long neck section, yeah. Man, I haven't even seen a 2 out of 3 yet, you guys suck. There's Randall when you need him. How do I do that? I don't think you can, I think uh, Sizzle has to do it. I don't think he wanted... Um... No, you can set it for your own channel, I think. Yeah, but this, sure. is this is Aggie Bot, though. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah, one that I also have Aggie Bot. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting. I know that at some point he was worried about people using it too much, like, and breaking the limit of how much stuff he can call. Well, I don't know. Uh, where's the server? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't uh, change it. I don't want to be poor. Where's the GitHub? There it is. <laughs> we can one shot this Exeggutor, which we would do if I died early in the Bruxish double fight, but as I got all the experience somehow from that, we can just run away. But yeah, that thing being Dragon type just dies. And anything with the dragon type and it melts to Moonblast. So. Look how weirdly zoomed in the camera is for that section of movement as well. damage do I take on the next fight? My defense is zero. So I take up to 69 from the Raticate. Nice. 24 special defense. That's 43. Okay. Oh, I have to speed on the Slander as well. Kind of a gross setup. Yeah, I think for the lore, we're off to find a flute or something here. We've got one flute. Lily apparently just owned one, and now we've got the other one. 
Well, all we will do once we're done with this island. How long until the next fight? Like, a minute or two? It's not too far away now. We've got one more Lily cutscene, and then... a little bit of movement. Is, the, is it the moon flute? Is this the sun flute? Who knows? The moon God flute. damn it. I can't find this. <laughs> no. Alright, so now we're finally let loose. We've finally done with all the cutscenes. We can go do the next fight. And I have a, a slight... I have a game theory for this section, that they show you six grunts here, and the girl grunt has one Pokemon, and then they make you fight one of the boy grunts, and he has five Pokemon. I think what they actually did originally was have six separate fights with one Pokemon each here, and then they realized how terribly slow that would be to do. So I think they just gave the second grunt, like, all five Pokemon instead. I never thought about that, but yeah, it seems like... Because you fight exactly six Pokemon here, yeah. and obviously they show you one female grunt and five males, so it's like they can't... Well, I suppose they could have just given the female grunt all six Pokemon as well. But it is kind of weird how, like, the next fight is five Pokemon long, and it's quite a difficult fight because of it. Well, Jake Kimono is exactly. Yeah, that could have been it too. Alright, so I don't have amazing speed on this Poplio, so I'm going to have to X speed on this Salandit. And it does like to use Toxic, which we would have to heal. Oh, that's useful. That's nice. Cool. I'm supposed to Psychic that as well, don't want. Alright, this, uh... It would have broken the game, probably. Actually true, yeah. This should just be a free fight from here. The Golbat may not die to just the Psychic, but, uh... Oh no, he could haze me. That would be pretty rough. Oh, just die, lol. Yeah. Easy fight. And I'm going to disappoint Ekman by playing the next fight risky. Yay. <laughs> Can't <Sad. end. laughs> The lead Doug Trio outspeeds. It will basically always use Sandstorm turn one and it has Sand Veil. So we are 20% to miss. I do get two shots at it though. What speed is it that you're supposed to X speed on? That's if 77 plus speed, 21 neutral, 6 plus neutral, 21 plus neutral, or 6 plus positive nature. Oh, I could X speed this then, I guess. Uh, I still don't like that though, because I don't get torrent very often if I do that. I'm going to trust, I'm going to trust the version of the fight I know. It might not be the most optimal. But...
Also, another really good theme coming up. Pony Canyon theme is a bot. Oh, this is also another another place where bad special attack has a scary range. The yeah. Mudsdale isn't guaranteed until you get to 24 neutral. And missing it is just dead. GG's, free fight. Nice. Yeah. I don't know if I have to tank. Well, I don't, can't imagine I do, but I'm curious if from this health I tank Flygon's Earth Power. Probably not. No, I don't think I would, but I'm going to pay attention. <laughs> See what health I get rolled to. Wait, did, did we talk about why this fight is bad? <laughs> yeah, I mentioned the, the Sand Veil. Okay, okay. Sucks. Okay, yeah, I would have definitely died. Yeah, yeah okay. That's torrent. Okay. Um, am I dead to Gastrodon? Special defense 24. No. Okay. So. Wow. Okay. Little hyper, so that's fine. Do you see why X beating on the first turn would have been good there? Mm, no. Because you would have outsped Dactrio and then you didn't have to heal on Flygon. Oh, that only, yeah, that's only specifically because I got Earthquake though. Yeah, yeah, but. It's... I've literally never seen it Earthquake turn one ever. Really? It's not that crazy. Yeah, I've seen it. Sometimes, uh, okay. like, it's not that rare. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I understood it from when you mentioned it before, to be fair. When, uh, because yeah. the strat I, uh, was complaining about is the the one that says, like, you should X speed and X special attack on Dugtrio, which seems terrible. Yeah. Yeah, the special attack is bad. That's definitely true. Yeah. I hope the uh, USB disconnecting noise didn't just come through because my keyboard just disconnected itself like nine times for some fucking reason. Alright, All right. so the last movement section of the game, and it's quite a toughie. There's a couple of. Uh, well, there's like three trainers to try and dodge, yeah. It's technically slower in the immediate sense to try and get on. Tauros here again because of how short this area is, but we want to be on Tauros going into the next section to be able to beat a cycle around a trainer that's looking. So in general I wouldn't have gotten Taurus there, but it's actually better overall. Uh, this guy sucks. We have to special attack because of drought, and it's a Torkoal, so it has body slam and body slam paralyzes a hundred percent of the time. Christmas miracle. Never seen before. Nope. Illegal technology. This Arcanine has extreme speed, but it's no way they're gonna kill me with it from here. Alright, so immediately after this fight we have a a trainer to try and dodge who's looking around the room. 
nice. Interesting with hell time. Don't have to fight those doubles, we've only got one Pokemon. Get on a horsey here, because we're going to have to go over these sections. Mudsdale's speed is not too bad either. It's faster than running. Not that you could run over that section anyway. But... And then we get the bridge. You see, the purest form of character development. She <laughs> is able to cross the bridge with birds around her. Yeah, I have Murkrow's cry like emblazed into my brain because of this cutscene. <laughs> I can't recognize yeah. any other Pokemon by cry, but Murkrow nail it every time. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> you get you just notice it a lot, and it just gets into your brain. Because there's literally nothing else. And just like what? I love that he plays times. it like eight times. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it never stops. You can do it, Dilly. I believe in you. Oh no. Can I imitate it? <laughs> yeah, everywhere. Run, Lily, run. <laughs> I think my favorite part of this is that she uh, she finds the courage to get across the bridge anyway, and then you just walk up and pet the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, you absolute moron. <laughs> She did it. She did her trial. I did it, Mom. Okay, more tight movement. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. We are gonna pick up... What is this item? Is it a full restore? Yes, it's a full restore. We need one full restore for champion. This is the one. We could actually use a second one sometimes. Um, there's certain scenarios on the final how fight where you'd like to have a full restore, but my keyboard disconnected again. I wasn't even touching. Yeah, very simple boulder puzzle. And then this movement's fairly tight. This guy is easy enough to avoid, um, but the bit afterwards is strange because you want to delay this a little bit. That was probably about perfect to get past that grunt. But you also need to do it fast enough because after this cutscene there's a trainer on the right hand side who has a cycle of looking left to right and you want to be able to go behind him. I think that was fine. Yeah, yeah. When you see, you can see him in the back there and you can see like, where he is on ah, the cycle. So is, you that, can... is that good? <laughs> is he in a that good point good, on yeah. the cycle? That is good, yeah. Cool. I've never known that. I didn't realise you could see him. As long as I don't mess this move. Wow. Oh no. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> that was scary. I don't know why my repels are so off sync. Why did I waste files? Uh, the boulder puzzle. Oh yeah. That was quite a lot of tiles. That was quite a lot of tiles, yeah, you're not wrong. So there is a slightly scary fight here. Um, the second one, no, the last one, sorry. The Gengar can, in certain scenarios, can kill me. Um, I got me firsted. Yeah. Didn't get the special attack drop, at least. It's very rare. I would like to think that this is like the victory road kind of thing for this game. I actually refer to this as victory road um, when I talked about this other run dying that I had. But... Yeah. Yeah. Because the real victory road in this game is like nothing. literally nothing. It, it's, it's 10 seconds of movement. <laughs> I have to heal here. 
Uh, maybe should have uh, encored safeguard actually, because my health would have been fine. Well, it's kind of. Uh, it's actually, not significantly maybe slower to do that. So. Maybe you want to save here because if you die here, it's about the worst place to die because you have to yeah. take like three minutes to get back here. Yeah, this one's fine, but yeah, I probably will take a safety save. Because now that I've said it as well, I'm probably I probably pulled it into existence that it's gonna kill me. That's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, it is. This this fight's free though, as long as well, actually yeah. it's not. I could get crit on the last turn, that will kill me. Exactly. Oh no, you won't. Because I'm at full. I don't think a crit would kill him. It'd be no, close. Def definitely not. Ah, oh, maybe. It'd have been close, but yeah. Yeah. This Serena's a range at very terrible special attack as well. But yeah, that's, I think I do agree with the save here. It's just, it's like, it's really rare to die, but if you do die, it's a whole last trip to get back here. Yeah. And saving takes like five seconds, so. Once again, one of my first emulator PPs <laughs> died here. And, like, oh, really? And back, and like, there's three minutes, and I still be beat by a lot. Yeah. It, it's, and I think it also happened to Wartop once. Just the worst place to die, really. I don't know if I need to heal on Gengar. My notes say Shadow Ball does 37 to 52, depending on special defense. And my special defense is pretty good. But 42 is quite low, so I won't do that. I thought it was higher than that, to be fair. But yeah, the reason yeah. the Gengar can mess you up is because um, it's going to use Shadow Ball and it can spadef drop. It's. It's only specifically if you end up doing this version of the fight, because you can sometimes heal to full before the fight and do a different version, in which case Gengar's not an issue. Hey. There's that, and the Psychic's going to be arranged. Usually the how I played this fight is I healed on the start land, on the fight before, yeah. and then I live a player after I can X speed on the first turn on this fight, and then I can just sweep afterwards in torrent. But yeah, it's, yeah. If, if you are in Torn and live Shadow Ball, that's obviously better. I have been frozen by this cloister before as well. Oh. That was I never funny. thought about that being a possibility. Was it this? I, I, to be fair, actually, I might, might be mixing it up with the Lapras. I don't think Aurora Beam can freeze. Unless it's got another Ice type move as well. Anyway. So the Dragon Trial is a bit of a bane because uh, a lot of your pace can be ruined in a single turn on the Totem Dragon fight. Not because it's dangerous, it's like really free. Yeah. Um, yeah. But turn one, so you always one-shot Kamoa with Moonblast because it's quad weak to it. Um, but turn one, it will either use Sky Attack or, or Sky Uppercut or Protect. And if it protects, it then also calls uh, an ally Pokemon. So you just end up like losing three turns for one. Yeah, for, otherwise, this trial is completely free. Catch totem Pokemon, can you? Uh, no, you cannot catch anything while you're in a trial. 
This would have been the freest pseudo legendary if it did that. Yeah, no. That would be ridiculous. But yeah. I just want to dodge protect here, ideally. Not really the end of the world for a marathon run if it does do it. But it's faster if it doesn't. Whoa. I see. No, that's everything that happened now is just time loss. So it's like 40 seconds almost. Probably 50 minutes. It's, it's so dumb how late in the run this is and you have no control over it. Because this is a, a fun bit where you just have to kind of sit here now. <laughs> I've selected the move, but because it's a double fight, the game's just going to wait a little bit, for no reason. Yeah, but, uh, uh Chad, uh, we mean, uh, you can't catch anything in the trial. Like, once you get that animation of your trial starts, you can't catch anything until you're done with the trial, inside of the trial. Okay. This is still a much better time than I expected to have. I'm very happy with this run so far. I'm gonna mess something up towards the end. Yep. BPTs are 457 right now. That's pretty good. Should get sub 5 here with, as long as I don't get massively Wait. trolled by Champ. I mean, one death is really all it takes if you die, like, yeah, quite late in the setup. You can't really die to the Elite Fall members. Uh, Lusamine could kill me, though. That'd be fun. So, when I started this... Well, just before I started this run, I changed my DS clock timer to be around 9am. And the reason for that is, once I get up here, it will be night time in-game. And that will skip a single text box where it asks me, where if it's daytime it says, do you want to wait until midnight to play the, f the moon flute or whatever it is. Well, there is actually two options for what time you can set your DS to, because you could also do daytime, and that makes Ratatas less likely in the grass at the start of the game. But then you get the, the text box here. You get the young goose instead. Yeah. So you're more likely to run away from things in the grass. And actual cutscene time. Yep. This is the longest cutscene in the run. If you've got a couple of minutes, if you want a bathroom break. Oh. I mean, you knew it. We just needed Randall to see a two out of three. <laughs> I did ask where's Randall when you need him. Hi Randall. So true. That pop always wins. I don't know how that work does. I think Ta has trolled more, even more than I did. <laughs> yeah. I am back. Welcome back. Just Lunala, this might be a hot take, but I stand by it completely. Lunala is the best box legendary ever designed. Also, I really, really love how the text reckons it's saying Mahina Pia. 
but the actual character is just screaming. <laughs> yeah, Mahina Pierce. That's that's funny. Yeah, best cover legendary. Hmm. Lugia would be close, but Lunala's the best one. What about running bike? What? Oh, the the Gen Nine ones. Yeah, no. It's not really the best. It's kind of damning with faint praise. It's not that Lunala is an amazing design. It's more that most of the box legend legendaries are kind of crap. So thank God that we get teleported here and we don't have to go through the wormholes. Because that's very awful in Uso. Is that the, th the thing that in the late game can like take a bunch of time randomly? Yes, you like it's just you basically have to go through a certain specific wormhole and it's random when it appears. So you can lose like one, two minutes to it because it just doesn't appear. That's gross. Yeah. Kyog is okay. I did used to pronounce it Kyorg as a kid though. And I do think Groudon's a little bit better than Kyogre. But Rayquaza is... Rayquaza is anyway. super cool, yeah. So yeah, Kyogre's okay, but it is the worst of the three. Wait, so Rayquaza doesn't count as a cover legendary for you? Yeah, that's what that is, the worst of the three. But, but it, it is... A, wait, but Rayquaza is a cover legendary, right? Yeah. It, isn't it better that's why than... I said that's why I said three. That's why I said Kyogre yeah, is the yeah, worst but, of the three. But isn't it better than Lunala? What Rayquaza? No. Yeah. Lunala, Lunala's uh, a better design than Rayquaza. Huh. Huh. If Mega Rayquaza was a box legendary, then that might win. I do like Mega Ray's design. I'm gonna take the safety save here, and I don't know how close I can get to Lily before the cutscene kicks in, so I'll just do it here. Speaking of design, we're gonna see a very interesting uh, Luzumin design. This is a great cutscene, because Luzumine tells her kids that she didn't like them. She's not beautiful, <laughs> so, she, so she's not worth anything. Great parenting, once again. <laughs> the bit, Lily's like, Mother, you're terrible. You can't just own people like that. So she shrugs. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Christ. Wait, what, what bonus did they, or like boost do they get in Pokemon? I don't know that it actually says. It gives them the animation, but I don't think it actually says what the boost is. Yeah. Probably one of those things you'd have to look it up on Bulbapedia, isn't it? You are terrible, bro. <laughs> she does not give. Uh, any, uh, yeah. This is the bit of the lore where I'm confused. I don't entirely understand why she suddenly merges with Annihilator. <laughs> I need to read these cutscenes at some point. I, I don't know. Yeah, freak, that's a good word. I was looking for that. Thank you. Sadly, we don't fight her directly. She still sends out her Pokemon instead of herself. 
probably would be a bit of a dodgy thing to put in a kid's game when you get Pokemon to attack an actual person. Hey, that's Legends Arceus. You're putting yourself out there. Start Legends Arceus is like, yeah, if you mess up, you'll die. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, this is a really interesting fight. Um, if it starts using cosmic power, we're going to completely change the thing that we're doing in this fight. Yeah, so we're actually going to lock it into this, which is the opposite of what we did before. That's because we have a dire hit. So that random item that Hao gave us about 50 billion years ago is actually going to come in useful. We'll lock it back in. So now we're set up and a crit will just kill. So we just need two crit. It's 50% I think. And yeah, you can immediately tell if you crit. Yep. I crit. Yes. Easy enough. And now the rest of this fight is free. That random dire that you got, I think that was how... It's, the, it's the one bef just before you see Mallow on the second island, yeah. Just after, you mean? Yeah, like yeah after. just after, yeah. Yeah, like... Uh, yeah. On the range, on the range, whatever. So this Miss May just does outspeed us. Uh, it can't kill us from here even if it attacks us, but most of the time it just uses Pain Split anyway. Yeah. Ooh, 8 damage. Yeah, good enough. We're done, we're ready for the end game now. We are gonna get Lunala in a second, spoiler alert, smile. And what? its stats can somewhat determine how fast the end game's gonna be. What's the pace looking like? Uh BPT is four a high four fifty seven at the moment. I won't get the four fifty seven or anything, but four fifty eight is possible. And if I don't die to champion, so 5 should be pretty much in the bag. Which is quite good. Well, I could mess up still. There are sections to mess up. Um, I've got to pay attention quite a lot to like Lunala's stats in a pretty short menu. I need to know what I've got. Basically, you hold the strats work out is if you have good special attack. Um, there are different levels of how good your special attack can be, but uh, if you have 31 neutral IV and not terrible speed, um, you can do a faster version of mm -hmm. the E4 where you like uh, yeah, switch up the order of E4. So there's there's like four different bands that like didn't really hit any of the bonus stuff, which is just every other Lunala. Then there's 170 special attack, 107 speed. 170 is like max IV neutral or any plus nature and then 107 speed is like don't get negative nature and then even if you do get negative nature don't get like a low IV um, and then the next band is 180 special attack 108 speed uh, so the speed is basically the same thing 180 special attack requires plus nature and a good IV and then there's like a slight bonus one if you get like 183 and 110 speed where you can skip a candy as well well, the speed is basically, you basically always get 110, like, if you get a negative nature but max IV, you get 115, so <laughs> it's not the one to worry about. Since Lunala is a legendary Pokemon, you get three perfect IVs, which makes it much more reasonable to yeah. be able to go for, like, at least the standard strat where you need the max or very high neutral IV nature for a special yeah. attack. The big one you really do want is special attack, like, yeah. bad special attack is notably slower than decent. You just start having to use Primarina for the Acer Roller champion fight. If Chaos trying to calculate how much I'm going to go overestimate, he's going to be quite sad as a heads up. I'm like, I'm on pace to save like 17 minutes on estimate.
but there are things that can go wrong. Oh, I see. I see. I just presumed you were how you were a person of little faith. How much is Amoeba going to mess this up? To be fair, Hal and Gladion can uh, waste your time quite a bit. Yeah, they can. That's the difficult one for me, is that sometimes I'm worried that I'm going to die to, like, Weavile's Ice Shard, because I don't check my defences, like, over-checking special attack until I can be, so sometimes I miss them. And it's hard to think as quickly as you need to, because normally you're still kind of considering what stats you've got when you're in the Gladion fight. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's very hard, and it, it's hard to do everything quickly. It's actually quite difficult. Mm. So that's one thing that is, uh, was a little bit upsetting. Just recently, um, Gen 7 switched to allowing breaks in the run because it's such a long run, which I agreed with in principle. However, I made a point at some point about how... Uh, or no, somebody else made a point, and I was like, oh yeah, that's a, a really good point, actually, that I didn't think about, about how if you took a break straight after seeing Lunala's stat, she get time to prep. Um, yeah, I, I was there. How, yeah, obviously, you saying that. Yeah, yeah I, And it was I like, said. oh no, yeah, that's a huge issue, we really shouldn't allow that, and then that got allowed anyway. I was like, oh, okay, that's actually not great. I feel like nobody read my comment. <laughs> yeah, it's... To be fair, I think um, none of us actually thought about it at all. Like, it was it, it was when you pointed it out, I was like, oh shit, yeah, that's actually a massive issue. Uh, but it got pinged uh, again, like yeah. after. But yeah, whatever. Yeah, nobody's. To be fair, nobody's actually done a run yet with uh, with a break in it. So it might become a bit of a contentious issue if somebody does do that exact thing. But... Yeah, the the Lunala music is great, and it's such a shame that we don't get to listen to the whole track. We have a master ball and we want to go fast, so. Also, Lily gets written out of the story now. She's gone forever. Listen to if I took the time loss. Ah, oh, genius. Nan who's going to show up in a second and be like, hey, do you want a lift to the Elite Four for some reason? I don't really know why they added this, because you could just fly there, but we'll take it. Slightly faster. Yes. And we will do a menu right away. We got the Nara and we will use it. I love as well that we get a legendary here, but it doesn't just replace a Pokemon. We kind of dual main Lunala and Primarina for the rest of the run. Yeah. Alright, so this is where I need to pay attention to my stats. I've got 117, that's good. My speed's good as well. Do you remember the spell tag we picked up ages ago? Oh, kind of, here it is. And that's what the spell tag's gonna be for. So I didn't see my defenses at all, so I have no idea what, what my defenses I, are I, like. I took a screenshot, I can't tell you. Oh, if, if you, you could. To... Yeah, if you could, that'd be good. Uh, defense is 114. And special, yeah. and special defense is 139. That's plus nature. Okay. I got the I got the max IV on special attack, but it's a neutral nature. So that's kind of really? Is special defense is 139 is well, uh, max uh, neutral? Maybe. Wait. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's good enough either which way. Yeah, ex exactly. I don't think I have to worry about Ice Shard on this fight at all. 
Ooh, that's a crit. Now it do. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so there's four different versions of this how fight coming up that we can do. Um, I need to figure out which one I'm actually doing. The Nala can tank, so I could potentially do the Primarina one. I can't do the very high defense one because my defense is literally zero, but can I do the medium defense one? Probably not, I would assume. I have high HP though. But not that high HP. I guess. Uh, let's see, 23. Yeah, that one. Zero neutral. I can't know. Right. So we're just going to have to do regular Nala fight, which means I've got to heal to full again. But I have good enough special attack that I can do the not terrible one at least. Okay, this is a very standard end game. Yes. My special defense is good, which means I probably won't need to heal twice on Raichu. Yeah, for anybody that's excited to see what the Alolan Victory Rope looks like, don't blink, because you'll miss it. The reason why we want to be at full HP is because of the uh, ability of Lunala. I forgot the name, but if you are at full HP, you will only take half damage. It's, uh, it's like Marvel scale, but it's specifically named for Lunala. Yeah. It's basically just Marvel scale. So it seems a bit silly max potioning for like 20 HP, but it does like half the amount of damage I'm going to take turn one. Yeah, this is all Victory Road is. There's no trainers to dodge. It's just running around a little bit. You can evolve your Eevee there to get Glacier. Wow, let me run back and do that. Definitely. Also, uh, we set our time to a specific time so that we don't have hail there. We, if you yeah. just have any time, you get hail for Gladion, and may I think how as well. I'm not sure. Yes, you do because my uh, my 454 got hail <laughs> for both. It's very bad. So this fight is kind of ass because of Incineroar. Yeah. So we are going to have to go to like plus six on special attack and we still need the spell tag otherwise this would have been arranged. And if you don't have enough special attack you can't do this strat. <laughs> it's just terrible. Oh, really? Oh no. That's Blows really bad. Because I'm not going to have enough. To, I'm going to have to heal twice now as well to get rid of that, I think. Yeah, maybe Cosmic Power would have been good here. But I don't know. Uh, my special defense is good enough, yeah. I think that's not going to matter, but. I guess, yeah. And also, there's no point Cosmic Powering with Paralysis up because if I get fully powered, I'm just mega punished. Oh yeah, true, true. I do have a full restore on me, but I can't use it. We need it for the um champ. Could you mind? Oh no. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm still gonna dodge another one here. Cause I need to be at well, I don't need to be at full health, but I need to be at, I've only taken one thunderbolt here. Okay. That was dumb. Yeah, this, uh, this only just kills at plus six with spell tank. And we have nothing else that we can really hit it with. It's immune to psychic. And Shadow Ball's obviously going to do less. And we have to be nearly at full health because this guy has Sucker Punch, which hurts a lot. We yeah. don't always use it. What weak to dark, so. Dark it's kind of amazing boost. we can even use Lunala with it. It's got like quad weak to darkness and ghost. Darkness, dark. Yeah. 
that's the last scary fight for a little bit. All of the Elite Four should just be pretty reasonable. Which version of the Elite Four am I doing? Uh, late Acer only. Yeah. Which always confuses... Uh, there's, <laughs> there's, uh, there's three strat names in the notes. There's early Acer Ola, late Acer Ola, and normal strats. Normal strats does Acer Ola later than late Acer Ola. <laughs> it's just like, what? Yeah, I never thought about the names. I <laughs> did. I never questioned <laughs> the, the, the strats. I just accept them. I think Wartab <laughs> made them. I'm thankful that he put in the effort. Yeah, I no, I just think accept it. it. It's basically just a holdover because I think normal strats must have existed before these other versions did. And so yeah, then it's yeah. like, oh, we can do this early Acer Ola version. And it's like, well, what about the version where we do her later? Well, it's late Acer Ola. <laughs> I just kind of forgot that normal's even later than that. I never really looked into it why they are faster. You use, like, it's, I think you use. You do, you do less menuing. So, like, yeah. um, if you do, like, the full early Acer Ola version, you don't actually need to heal. And if, if you've got, like, good defense on Primarini, you potentially don't need to menu at all until you beat the entire Elite Four. Like, you only need to menu right before the champion. Yeah. Doesn't ever really work out that well, but you do skip some early menus that this, like, this route's probably going to have to do a little bit of. Also, the Elite Four theme, absolute banger as well. Yep. So our Lunala is good enough to fight Ace Roller. We don't have to bring in Primarina for that. Um, but we do need a little, a little bit of leveling up. So we'll do it. Olivia first. Uh, this is a fairly free fight. It's generally just set up at the start and go. Um, you do get a slightly faster version of the fight if Relicanth doesn't yawn you turn one. But it nearly always yawns you. Yeah, challenging the Elite Four in any order came in at Gen 5, to be fair. But yeah, I've always been a fan of that. Yeah, agree. Makes like you can like do a lot of good, like, nice routing stuff with it. Just like here. So it's spec attack first one, and then if we get yawn, we'll just use it again because we need to go to at least plus four. So yeah, that's the normal fight. Use my last awakening. How do you feel, Potters? I uh, It's very nice that we have Moongai's Beam for this fight. Mm -hmm. So the next three Pokemon all have Sturdy, but Moongai's Beam is like Mold Breaker on a move, so it ignores Sturdy entirely. You might, you might have wondered why we don't use Primarina for the rock type before, that's why. And this is guaranteed a plus four on my special attack. If I didn't candy, that wouldn't have been guaranteed, it would have been uh, 15 and 16. Yeah, pretty free fight overall. We do have to heal to full and max elixir here, which is like, it's because my special attack isn't good enough to uh, Shadow Ball some Pokemon on Acer Roller, unfortunately. So if you if you get the ridiculously good special attack, you can Shadow Ball the majority of Acer Roller's team, and that means you only need five Moon Geist Beams for the entire Elite Four, so you skip the max elixir entirely. And you also don't need to heal after Acer Roller, because Olivia really only does that Hydro Pump damage. Yeah, no, there's no other categories. Yep, it's just any percent. There's category extension stuff like alt mains and things like that, but there's nothing kind of like built into the game like round two. I 
as a roller is usually fine if you do the strat, but if you do the normal strats, you go into this fight with the marina. It's quite annoying because you rely on your hope to get a uh, fake out by Sable Eye. If you don't, it gets very scuffed. I don't know a fun fact. I've literally never done the Primarina fight. I did in my PB and I perished. Oh no. Because I got crit because of the Shadow Claw and crit like three times in a row. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, not not fun. This it's like really nice to not have to do this fight with Primarina, but with the Nala. Makes it pretty simple. We do need an X speed to get past the Froslass. Um, Delmise does the least damage. And yeah, if my special attack was better, we would be Shadow Balling Sableye and Palisand. But it's unfortunately a range when it's only good and not amazing. But then, regardless of how good Yulinala is, we are going to be beating Hala and. what's she called? Kahili with Primarina. Which works out quite nicely because you would just kind of run out of like PP or something if you tried to do everything with Lunala. Also, uh, Primarina is really nice for Hala because we have Alco. My boy does like to lead with Fake Camp. In this generation, the AI is actually smart enough to like switch out when you encore on moves like Light Screen or Confuse Ray. Uh, mm -hmm. They will actually switch out, but for some reason they don't when you encore Fake Out. So we can encore Fake Out and just get free setup. My theory for that is that it sees Fake Out as a damaging move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 100%. Apparently you can get a version of this fight where you don't get Fake Out turn 1. I've also never seen that. Yeah, it can happen. I think it happened to me once. I'm not sure. So we just have a free fight. Uh, it's a little bit annoying. We took a little bit too much damage, uh, and mainly I've because of, uh, mainly because our defense is just very bad. So I have to heal I, for the next fight. I don't think I've ever had a situation where I haven't had to heal after that fake out. I'll be honest. I think you need quite good defense. I guess or, yeah. either that, or I just coincidentally always run garbage defense primarians. Question: Is it maybe faster to heal on the Hariyama if you have to heal? It might be. I mean, I've got to heal Lunala anyway, so it's not the end of the oh, world. Yeah, Lunala Lunala as well. Because I might, there's a small chance I might go damage less than Kahili, and then I'd have to do yeah. an extra menu for no reason. Yeah. I guess so. to heal there. I'm always dead to do steel wings. A slightly scary Kahili fight in general because of my low defense and I have to speed twice to get past the crowbat. Running somewhat low on full MX potions. Oh well how many did I have left? Two. Oh, nice. Nah, I'll be fine then. Yeah, it should be fine, but still. 
I think now I used up all my energy roots as well. Wow, that is a lot of healing I've done this run. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. It's fine. My good friend Skarmory will simply set up all of the spikes and then leave. That would be cool, yeah. So I need to set up two speeds, moon blast, scammery to break. Sturdy. And then special attack. Not steel wing. I really want to see spikes. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. This could this could get ugly. Uh it's actually pretty scary now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, please, please use the spikes. Holy shit. I didn't save. That's... Okay, cool. use spikes. Right. Uh, okay. Spikes again, that'd be nice. Uh, okay. Oh god. Uh, I'm, I'm just fine though, aren't I? I just have yeah. to everything now. Yeah, yeah, I no, just, this is fine. I just thought he got crit. <laughs> <laughs> we would have... Uh, I'd have been, we would have been figuring some stuff out at that point. Yeah. So, uh, I'd have to do the entire... I could, I could have just gone into the champ with Lunala. I just have to reset a lot more in that scenario. <laughs> I you guess, do, yeah. You can do champ with Lunala, then. It's not good, though. No, it's not. Unfortunately, we do try and learn Hydro Pump then. The last level up that Primarina actually gets. He didn't fire the move up. Ah, I can't be a Chad and skip the save before champion, unfortunately. Oh. As much as I'd like to. Oh yeah, out of yeah, you can't heal as well. I guess only. No, I've got so. one. I've got one max push. But yeah, you need to use that now, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that, yeah. Well then I've got, yeah, you, I mean the standard... Oh yeah, I suppose. I suppose I could get trolled by... Uh... Oh, yeah. this, could, this could go worse than I expected, excellent. <laughs> A little bit of excitement for the final fight of the run. Yeah, for the final run, there's actually a really good version you want to see. Ideally, you don't get also... damaged on first Pokémon. Yeah, I have also never seen the Miracoat fight. Yeah, I don't know how that so works. Fast. It's very fast, very good. Alright. Final fight of the run. Yeah. This guy can kill us, even if we weren't on such a precarious setup with healing items, he can just generally kill us. I'm actually just straight up dead actually if he Stone Edge crits turn one. I can't I just have to reset that because I don't have the heal items to set up on Lycan Rock, I don't think. Well maybe yeah. I can give it a go. I don't know. Let's just not get that. Let's just get a nice stealth rock. Yeah, really yeah. Stealth rocks is much better. Yes. Because then you have a chance to see Miracode on Mechazon and you can onco that and that's and then you can do the fight with Marina, which is faster than with Luna. Health rocks, yeah. No. Get this miracle. Out. That wasn't the last level up because we fought the extra train. <laughs> Break the sturdy. Break sturdy. Thunder wave. So we don't heal Paralysis here because we want to, it's just to kill a turn. Why did that not kill? Wait, what? I don't understand what just happened. What is happening? <laughs> um, what do I do? 
Wait, do I have to use? Uh, this is weird. Why did Thunderbolt not kill? Oh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, the weird, weird fight. Um, yeah. Just for the... No, you just set up a ton of X items. Yeah. Set up everything, and then we just sweep with Lunala. I want this guy to use Thunder Wave, please, so it stalls a turn. Thank you. That just gives me enough time to set everything up without worrying about him killing me. Yeah, that's, my, PB that's also got, a... my PB got like Thunderbolt turn one paralysis, so I lost a turn. It was really yeah, dumb. It's really bad. This is also why need... we pick up the full restore. Yeah. I only need two X special attacks here. And that'll do. So as long as he doesn't paralyze me here. Don't do it. It's so bad when it happens. Right, so now I just need to dodge getting crit by the Snorlax and we win. And not getting... Uh... Oh, I guess crit Sucker Punch might kill me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, that's actually not great, I guess. Well, he'll probably just heal here and it'll be fine. Yeah. Because I think I dropped his special defense as well. Oh, great, we're in a heal lane. Oh. Why not? Uh, any... I think I just... Uh, do I have enough psychics? Okay, you just run out. Okay. okay. Wonderful. It was... I was tempted to do an X special attack, but I didn't want to take another crunch, so... Yeah. Interesting fight. Okay. GG's. Nice. Time is going to be a little bit after the fight's done. Um, it's it's a weird... It's a weird timing. Be a minute or two after we're done. But that is sub five. Very happy with that time. We actually changed the timing like a year ago. Well, that now, yeah. I started running this a year ago and it was already at that time. So. Yeah, exactly. Like one, uh, one and a half years by now, I think. I think it was like April, March, or May or something. We used to play for like five or six minutes more. Until you fight Tapu Koko and then run away from it, yeah. then that's time. But like, no now reason. we put earlier, earlier. Yeah, for some reason, timing doesn't end on the Hall of Fame fade out like a lot of other games. It's just a little bit afterwards, but it's still fine. It's just mashing through text. And thanks for all the GGs. I'm very happy with this run, honestly. Yeah. Good job. There was one mistake with the repel, and then ran into an optional as well. Yeah. We're only like seven minutes off of record, which across a five hour run, more than happy with. Yeah. I mean, you didn't die, so that's... That really it's... helps, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, things can really spiral in this game, A death is just so long because all the fights take a long time. Right, exactly. So time will be at the end of the fade out after Kukui says something about going to get Lily. I swear it's the slowest fade out I've ever seen. Like when I retimed all the runs, it's just you it's so slow until it's like actually fully black. <laughs> <laughs> Takes forever. <laughs> right, here we go. And time. Oh, oh no. Stop the time. Stop the time. Stop the car. <laughs> Text in a different channel. They're ignoring me entirely. He's not even here. Sadash, no! <laughs> Mom, stop the camera! <laughs> Not the sub five! <laughs> You're ruining me! My dream! <laughs> no, he fell asleep or something. <laughs> it's happening. It's ticking away. Please! No! The run is over. Don't do this to me. <laughs> 
all, 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 all of your efforts wasted. <laughs> it's happening. I'm watching it. Japanese timing, so we have to sit here for like what, 30 more minutes. Did you, did you stop it dead on? You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. 459.59. Good enough. Alright. Absolutely rigged. <laughs> yeah. We'll not, uh, we'll not make everybody sit through the end game. Because this is uh, boring nothingness. We've got... Uh, who's up next? Is it Juanli doing the... Uh, I think it's yellow. Yes. So yeah, stick around for that, guys. Thank you for having me back again. Yeah. Always a blast doing PSRM. Thank you, Ekman, for joining me for five hours and commentary. No Very much appreciated not having to do this all on my own. Gotcha. It was fun. Right. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll move aside and let the next guys come up. Thank you again. <laughs>